there's not much room in it. I mean, Ben's only got 223 behind. I mean, it's kind of an all-in or a fold, isn't it? Yes. And I prefer a fold. Pot's 410,000. No, it's not. No, sorry. It's 634,000. Thank you. Wow. Are they going twice? Yeah. Uh, a king ball is dead. I saw one. Spades are dead as well. Obviously, there's ace king. Oh wow, just wasted. Yeah. So sick. Yeah, first one goes to Ben. Six hundred and thirty-four thousand dollar pot. Ben is on his way to having the biggest night on our stream for him. Yep, and he's gonna win them both. Oh, wow. You were with this head? Sorry for knowing where I'm at, Wesley. Wow. Come on, what are we talking about, man? No coaching. Wesley's laughing at his opponents, and I'm here for it. I swear he has a night queen, night queen. Nick checks. Barry's got to bet this. You got to bet that, Barry. Come on. You might win. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh. He does wow. win. That's the case 10, by the way. Professional. <laughs> joint for Sammy his gambling is rewarded immediately by Lauren the dealer I don't know that you can put your opponent on 8-5 here oh no less than 1% is not the equity you're looking for with 31k in the middle oh that was the best hand I've seen in a while Mayhem gonna figure it out again that he's been overset by pocket aces Set over set twice in a couple hours. Oh. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Me. Seriously? I never get him. I never twice get him. One night this happened to me? Look yeah. at this. Oh, oh look at yeah. this. Shit. No. Oh, There's still another. No. There's still another Jack. So sick. Big John. Wesley went over a hundred thousand. I saw he has Jack. I figured out. It's an overplay. But if you go all in, only jacks or fives will call you. Yeah, I didn't know that either. I wish I knew. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't you, know you, that. You think I have a, like, because uh, uh, you have four, right? I, I could have four five. I could have jack five. Yeah. You think jack, ca jack five can call you? Jack five can call you without all in. So that's, uh, yeah. He's getting such an insane price here. When you when you bet half of the effective stack, it's just really, really hard to pull. And I show you no. my hand after, and then if, if you win, I give you 10,000. No, 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 no. What? <laughs> I, I didn't hear that. Don't, don't, don't. Okay, yeah. sorry about that. Living thing. way here. But well, look at this bet though, 20,000 into 10,000. He's betting 2x pot. Garrett putting maximum pressure on Bertucci. The Nick Foles, look at that. Just a power play from Garrett. She just snap moves all in. Ronnie snap calls and Ronnie's gonna need some help.
Oh, wow. Do you have a coin? What a river. Wow. Oh, I knew it. I thought for sure one yet. Garrett just wins himself $43,000. Took a chance, could have looked like a genius there, and unfortunately for him, his ships head over to that man right there, G-Man. Kings beat him, aces beat him, three queens beat him. If he's, at, if he's having crazy thoughts, I think he's gonna put himself in a world of hurt. No, he just calls, okay, okay. Fair enough, it's still a $170,000 pot. 85.5 goes to Garrett. I have a seven. You have a, you have a big belly like a dad. That is, uh, <laughs> Bro, why you light me up like that? Wait a minute, I got a little belly. Did you have any explosion in? No, I get bloated and then my stomach gets huge. I'll go all in. Do you have 10,000? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. definitely 10,000 at least. It's not much more if you want to call. How much do you have? That's a dealer question, not a me question. I can't I do math. You have a set of fire, you know. I'm not good enough to mug, Mike. Nice hat. Uh, flush with a 10. Back about who's going to get paid. Oh. Or a 9 or an 8. Deuce! Oh, I didn't even know. Oh. One time. And Mike. Michael, one All time. in. $50,000 pot, Chris just needs to fade a six on the river. And Chris going to scoop a $50,000 pot. The way we could get a slow roll here would be if this money gets all in, and then we bink a seven or a 10. That's how we can get a slow roll because Barry 100% thinks he won. So if we get a 10 or a 7, we'll have the ultimate chance for a slow roll. And all these players know that slow rolling is a big part of this game. 10 or 7, one time. A 10 or a 7, one time! DJF! Washburn said no slow roll. Exactly! What are you doing? He just missed, like, the best opportunity for a slow roll. How? Do you not slow roll there? That's just bad etiquette. Not slow rolling there. Come on. A big pot here. Julie flops the nut flush. Uh, King Henry, who just bluffed it off with nine high, immediately flops the joint in the next hand. Julie needs a spade. Instead, the king is going to scoop. That's what's known as a cooler. What's this going to raise? Well, you get there. Big hand. Oh. Oh, that's so stupid. This is pretty bad. I slow played myself to death. Meaning oh. bad luck. Oh. Right, top set. Might get the job done, or he might just get it done right here. And look at that. Watch. Oh. 
He's really selling it. Oh! That a kid! There we go. What a great table. I love this. Oh, you had the diamonds too. That didn't make sense, but it was awesome. Man. Welcome to Max Payne Monday. The U.S. Poker Open, I, I cut 12 days out of my schedule to go play those events, and I had a, and I had a shot, you know, I mean, I had, in the last, like, five days, I had two seconds and a fourth, three final tables, and in the main event at 2 a.m. last night, less than 24 hours ago, I took some ridiculous beat uh, to finish 10th. Wesley, let me explain one thing to you. When a player likes you, who bluffs it off, gets the aces, I'm, 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 I took the time because I, I thought, like, wow, they might have a yeah, yeah, yeah. might. Okay, it wasn't strategic so much as fear. I've got it. I've never seen anything like that in my life. Did Garrett just tell Ethan I got it and save him 66000 no, do it for the memes. Hold on, do it for the memes. It's a good clip. I think it's a meme. I think it's a clip. You right, let me see what I just said. You're trying to be wrong. You line on, you win this, bro? Look at the pot. This is a $25,600 straddle for Mr. Beast. He's had enough. I almost got coerced. I'm so glad I didn't do it. I'm so glad I didn't do it. It's going to go like nine bullets. <laughs> you haven't called it yet. You owe me. Gone. You know what? You owe me, uh, Botez, so I don't mind if you call. I mean, you if you were, you know. Yeah. <laughs> what about, what about taking advantage of our stupidity? I'm, I'm so happy you said that. <laughs> what about a stupidity? This is literally like a <laughs> There's a call. Oh, are you trying to do the chips? Yeah. Uh, oh, he's stalling. Oh, my oh. God. Oh, that's... At three? Well, everyone is. So oh, she's wait. Like, everybody, everybody pairs oh but God. beast. Everyone but me. What is happening? Everyone but me. That means, there's, that means there's six left for you, King. Wait. Out in the hell. That's fine. I'm calling it right Sorry. now. Oh, this is a queen. Oh, I'm calling it right now. This is a queen. No right. queen. I'll, I will literally Another tip you $20,000. Nine, $20, oh, nine queen. three, eight, queen. You better put a queen there in your best interest. Magic's got $20,000 if you can put a queen on the river. He's, he's great. He's 20 grand. Oh. Even Magic can't do that. And Botez, again. Are you kidding me? He pays him off. He makes the call. Yeah, Whoa. Only a jack will save Alan. Okay. One jack left on the yeah, One jack left, and that is not a jack. Ten of clubs on the river, and Alex is now doubled up. She wins herself a hundred and two thousand dollar pot, and Keating on to bullet number three. Well, yeah, I'm all. What's my all in button? What's that? Oh, no! Wait, wait, hold on. I'm not getting. All in. Jesus all right, I'm gonna let you guys. Call it. Right. Hey, no, no way. No one's ever you lost three in a row, Keating. No one's she, ever she, lost. She's three saying three three times the charm. You know what I do, right? One hundred and fifty thousand dollars. You know, I'll show the table. I'll make you a deal. Nine, 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 I have king five. If you. Can promise me you don't have aces, kings, or ace king. No, I don't promise you anything. Give me no. your money. <laughs> <laughs> if you only want the four, then you can take it. I'll Give pull. Me money. <laughs> One way or the other. Hmm. All right, I'm calling. Book it. Once. Let's go. No! Oh! No! All right. Oh my god. Not a hot start, not a hot start, but there's a lot of diamonds in there. <laughs> a lot of diamonds. <laughs> oh, no, you're right. right. Oh. Jack's full of aces. <laughs> Jack's full of aces. I'm battery for it. And the aces hold. XQC doubles up. I want my Jack. Jimmy's like, help me. Bro, I got like five, two, six, two, five, nine. Like, I'm not even playing. That was like a pretty good speech. Like the uh... actually, what it was is he interrupted me, and I was like, "Well, fuck this guy." <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try here. Took last and put it on the Dolce Gabbana. I gotta tell it's you, not at work. you were not supposed to call this. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what do you have? Aces, then. I got nothing. That's an excellent hand. Oh, for what? Are you? Ahead? What a good call, Jimmy. Yeah. What a good call, Jimmy. Oh my God. Oh, Are you ahead? I love that. Guy shows 9-4, are you ahead? I'm not paying you back, I'm not paying anyone back. I'm just never coming back. Board pairs. You win. Let's fucking go. 
And Tom Dwan. First time goes to Dwan. They're gonna run it the second time here. And they both go to Tom Dwan and Keating once again felted. And he has just uh, reloaded for another hundred thousand. I think so. I'm all in. All in. And Chris is gonna check jam with Ace Deuce of Diamonds. One time. And one time, Queens versus Ace Deuce. Wasn't expecting that. Turns to seven, one time. Rivers and Ace! Oh! Rivers and Ace! Rivers and Ace! Oh my. Unbelievable, and he's out of there. Did he ever overlimp my hand like Queen Three suited? And Garrett's gonna call. Good call. Oh. And he makes the call. Right away, Reza is gonna win a hundred and seventy-eight thousand dollar pot and double through Krish. Look at Ronnie. <laughs> he's in it. He's happy. He's, he's, he's loving it, man. I love it. I, wanna, I now want to go to a strip club with Ronnie. I mean, look at him. He's just having fun. Dur goes to 26,000 and just gets snap called. Chalk another one up there for Dur. What could have been, he probably could have won more money. Wow! Unbelievable! Oh my he god. It a back jam. Oh my god. A 232,000. I don't really know flip. if I meant it. A 232,000 dollar flip. This guy just back jammed. Wow. Oh, it's counterfeited. Counterfeit. Ace high gonna win it. Reza with 26-6 behind. Oh, oh no! Call. Oh, wow, cool. Oh, wow. 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 Reza wow. trying to rep a seven. Trying to rep a full house on the river. <laughs> that is a slow roll. And I think I'm an expert on analyzing slow rolls. I mean, I love Mickey, but on a four-bet pot against an aggressive player, this is this is a suicide mission. He just is absolutely yeah. He's he's lighting he's lighting some of these chips on fire. We go a lead here. Do we have a clock in here? What time? Yeah. What time is definitely not something that Garrett is usually accustomed to seeing. He just calls. No, he's not used to being in this position. Garrett is good enough to sniff this out and to put the money in. We are at 100,000 here. Wow. It's a blank. Six. So Mickey has absolutely nothing here. Yeah. Mickey's feet bombs here. Yeah. Yep. 65,000. Wow. Uh, I, I meant... I don't know. What's the bet? 60, whatever he wants, he's 60. I meant, I meant 60, I don't want to like... You're fine, you know. whatever you want the bet to be. Fine. Yeah. Guess I'll fold. Wow, Mickey, show it, baby! Oh! And he shows them! That's gonna leave a mark. Wow, Mickey Tricky. Garrett is very disappointed in the fact he made the wrong decision. I know him well. Wow, Mickey. If you do or you don't, like, you know, I never mean to be no, rude. No, you can always show us all day. He will take the information even though it's stinging. Why, could you beat five highs? 
<laughs> a monster $70,000 box. Check, check. Sonny looking for an eight on the river. Not gonna happen. He's gonna bet here. I don't know. Wow, 13,000, there's a snap call. The resident doesn't care. Oh, resident for president. You're my, I, I love him. Can knock it out. I wanna get a t-shirt. I wanna get a Reza t-shirt. I would wear that. And look at this flop. Brandon flops the stones. Antonio with king, queen. Let's see how Brandon plays it. Just a call. King, jack, 10. The turn's a nine. They both have straights and Brandon with the nuts. Oh, what a turn. What a turn. And now, is Brandon just gonna call? Let's see. Oh, he just called. Snaps. Wow, we could have seen huge. Oh. Boy, if this one gets through, this is highway robbery from the magician. I think I might have to pay you. That is not good news to Antonio's ears. What do you mean? <laughs> you want a chop? How can we chop? Is that, is that, you want to chop everything? <laughs> I could have the nuts. Super happy to have your brother. Okay. You mean by my poker skills? No, I mean by your YouTube skills. No, no, no. Your poker, poker skills. skills. I mean, we're going to see tonight. Okay. Are you feeling confident about your poker yeah, skills? Yeah, I'm going to walk up a million dollars. No question. Do you think so? Yeah, easily. So, have, do you play a lot of poker? Are you no. like an avid player? No. Or he's going to let it go. There. He has to let it go. He's Yeah, it feels gross, 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 but he's going to just let it go. Let's see what that river looks like. Oh. Five! He would have got counterfeited! He would have got counterfeited, that's what I told you. Oh my god, Andy would have oh. got Jack Gabe would have got counterfeit. I, I'm gonna say it, we're firing right. I'm just saying that. Oh wow, running hearts. Yeah. And Mr. Beast has got the ten of hearts in his hands. You have a flush, dude. You have my flush, bro. Oh shit, I wasn't looking. <laughs> Somebody give me 50, please. No, I didn't mean that. Please, give me 50, give me 50. Yeah, no, you could have just took the money. I never would have noticed. All right. So they're going to flip for how much? Phil, do we have action or no? The whole stack. Yeah, I think that this is going to be like a $390,000 flip. Somewhere in that neighborhood. There's a 400K flip. Yeah, it's a 400K flip. Now, by the way, if Keating wins this, he's still down. Okay. You show one, I'll show one. Okay. Oh, shit. Bro, please don't flip over fucking jack. I mean, your king might win. Oh, oh, oh my god. No, wait. Jack's the only out, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bro, I was just. Hey, I get a thousand this for the massage. Oh, if I win, by the way, you get 10 grand. Oh. One more time. Oh. I'm bringing it down. All the way down. Bro, so. Did you get 10 grand? Yeah, of course. Why not? She's been great. By the way, if Keating wins this, he's still down. Okay. You show one, I'll show one. Okay. Oh, shit. Bro, please don't flip over a fucking jack. I mean, your king might win. Oh, oh my God. No, wait. Jack's the only out, right? Yeah. Oh, give him my name. Yeah. Bro, I was just. Hey, I get a thousand this for the massage. Oh, if I win, by the way, you get 10 grand. Oh. One more time. Oh. I'll bring it down. All the way down. Bro, so did you get uh, Yeah, of course, why not? She's been great. I'm yeah. here. Yeah, that was, that was Bro, these last three have been All right, I'm all. all, 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 all you got sevens? You got down. No, that's great. I won them. Boys, if sixes. 40 and a I think it's the way to go out. This is the way to go out. I have to. Man. I, I, just one man. That's all I got. Yeah. I like a, I like I like one bad beat. Hold up, I need these. Look, keep them on. I think there's a chance here. I think there's a chance for him. And Ninja hit the seven.
But I am sleeping outside tonight. If I don't need a seven, so. Oh, oh no! That's a pretty good flop. Queen ten. I'll suck a I'll suck a dick for a ten.
only pass through this life once. When you get old, all you're gonna have left is your memories. So make them good. No fault. I done doubled up on the workload. I think I fell in love with the bankroll. Pray up, get money, then we lay low. Then we lay low. Add it up, add it up. Bankroll, euro, peso, peso. Add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. Bankroll, euro, peso, peso. Add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up. It's all me, everything is on me, go on, back it up. Matter what? Told you I'ma do me, why you hating on me? It's not adding up. Add it up. Told you if it's all me, everything is on me, go on, back it up. Matter what? Told you I'ma do me, why you hating on me? It's not adding up. Hello, 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 and welcome to Friday, the big game here at Hustler Casino Live, brought to you by High Stakes Poker Productions. I am David Tuckman. We will be here for the next six hours watching these players battle 50, 100, 100. Those are the stakes. We'll see how big this game gets. Some of the usual suspects in this game. Some big money in this game as well. Should be a fun one. Thank you for joining us here on this Friday evening. Lauren in the box. She'll be dealing. I am David Tuckman. And welcome to Hustler Casino on a Friday evening. The heat has slightly subsided here in LA but good news it's raining so all sorts of weather goodness in Southern California take a look at our players tonight if you are new to our show welcome we're here Monday through Friday Friday's always our big game we go for six hours on Fridays Take a look at seat number one. That is Mars, our snowboard instructor. Mars a little bit on the tighter side pre-flop, but post-flop, the guy really mixes it up. Not afraid to check raise rivers on bluffs. Not afraid to triple barrel bluff. He will definitely use his chips, no doubt about that. Everybody's favorite retired nurse, it is Ling Lin. She's here for another night of battle on the felt. Andy Stacks at the table. You can follow him on Twitter and Instagram at Andy Stacks Poker. Francisco. Francisco the Pro. Father of 38 chickens. Stanley Tang, co founder of DoorDash. Went to Stanford University. A billionaire at the tender age of just 28 years old. And uh, he'll certainly mix it up. No doubt about that. Big John. Favorite hand always. 3-6. I don't know why, but I don't ask. Mike X in the house. Playing the big game as well. Mike X, a very successful fashion designer. I was lucky enough to be given a shirt that he made. Very comfortable. Not going to lie. I want to thank our sponsor, WPT Global. Take a look at our buy-ins. Andy's got 56,000. Mars got 50. Stanley's got 50. Playing 50, 100, 100. Queens, like the most stupid person. Was that a good call? No, very bad. Call. <laughs> We've been so spoiled as of late wow, so bad. that when you oh see a game Wanda, where there's only a quarter million dollars on the table, you're like, wow, small game. Just amazing how spoiled we are here at Hustle Casino Live. Why 
home. But the, because I didn't even realize, because I was sitting there yeah, and the, yeah, yeah. uh, um, near Kosidian, so I couldn't really see his facial expression. I wasn't <laughs> really paying attention. But then I would rewatch it. Oh my, that was like, Five. the <laughs> acting was a little too yeah, much. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> 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 But then the chair was so funny. The chair was not so And right out of the gate, blues. we get a four bet from Mars. Big John the worst acting job ever. has to decide what he wants to do with tens, and he is going to call in position. Jack high flop. That is not the flop you want to see if you're Big John. Only one over card to your tens. You likely think you might have the best hand still. Mars bets 5K, I think he actually could have sized it down a little bit there. Especially when you consider Big John's stack. And this is kind of what I was wondering. What's Big John going to do when he doesn't flop a set? He's still leaving at the, the bike for now. Uh, when I went to Taiwan, I lived in a hotel for like a year. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. You didn't lose the good parents? I think I'm good. I'm good. First to town, I don't know why. I didn't want to live there, you know? Yeah. Can't bring home girls, you know? So. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Special guest joining us in a little while. So Tuesday night, at the end of the game, John asked me, hey, you're going to see Francisco on Thursday. Can you give him this $5,000? So I changed the $5,000 to a chocolate chip, put it in my bag. Thursday, I come in. Right? I usually have a bunch of fives, tens, twenty fives in my pocket. I tip everybody, you know, security guard, chip runners, cashiers. So I sit at the table and I'm, you know, Francisco is sitting here. I want to give him the five, five K chip. I can't find it. What's going on? Maybe I left it at home, but no, I never, you know, was in my bag. All right. At the end of the night, I give him from my chips, right? Interesting flop here. Top go, pair for Linglin. Both Mars and Andy and with a flush draw. Know me over there. Mars in pretty bad shape. How much? Seven. Seven. Big John with the overcards plus a gut shot. He's going to call. See how Mars plays the five high flush draw. He's going to just call. And Linglin, who has the best hand, is now looking at a bet and two calls. What does she do? I told me you wife check it. I'm waiting for the hand to finish, so. Yeah, big hand going on, right? How much? Oh. This game is out of muck. First, second, second hand. Yeah. First hand, second hand. If, if that first hand was any indication. Legland's still on the, in the tank on this one. With top pair. She has the eight of clubs as well, which is certainly a relevant card. And she does eventually raise the $3,700. And Andy's just going to go with it. And this will bail Mars out. I mean, this is actually pretty good news for Mars. Okay, what happened? Up here? <laughs> <laughs> so Lingling gets aggressive, and then Mar Andy takes it away. You know, the cashier uh, supervisor comes. Oh, my God. Got there, really? so mad. Okay. Okay. okay, I should just... So... She goes, how you doing? And I'm like, you know what? Uh, uh, a little something. I lost the 5K chip, a chocolate chip. So he goes, I, I, I don't know. Uh, I can't find it. But wouldn't it be funny if I tipped somebody by mistake with that chip? You thought about that? You know? Yeah, because oh, okay. it was it would, with my other oh, chips, you know? They all, we all laugh about it and so on. I go home. It's 11.30 at night. My phone rings, right? I, I pick up the phone because, you know, even crank calls are not that late. It's Sue from the cage. She oh, goes, okay. oh, Mr. Farid, you, you remember you said you, <laughs> you might have tipped somebody 5K? I go, yeah. She goes, well, 
The security guard you tipped. The security guard? <laughs> yeah, he, he put the chip in his pocket. At the end, you know, he came to cash and realized it's $5,000. Oh, my God, that's funny. So, and so I took your picture and showed it to him. He goes, yeah, this is the guy who gave it to me. And so I had to tell him, yeah, he didn't mean to tip you $5,000. I'm so sorry. I cannot cash it for you. So she said, I have the chip for you, you know, when you come to Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, I, it was gone. I wouldn't know. And so I went there today, signed something, I got the chip back. And it was not even my money, it was his money for him. <laughs> I was... Hey, you should ask John first. John made him mention Tim. It's John's chip. John can't do that. I don't think Francisco would want to tip 5,000. I'll find Francisco? No, it's zero, zero chance. If it's Francisco, it's zero chance. Give it a tip five dollars. So I, I took care no, of the more than that. <laughs> I took care of the uh, people right. at the carriage. That's took very nice of, the, of you. No, look, I, that's nice of them that that they you know cared enough to remember and also do the work of you know printing my photo, showing it mm -hmm. to him. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I took care of the security guard, but uh, so that's why I had to go to cage when you asked me what's the story. Yeah, I tipped somebody five thousand dollar by mistake. <laughs> Yeah, you was telling me last night. I said, maybe you white second. Maybe what? His so Mike X, <laughs> long story short, Mike X got his 5K chip back, and apparently the security guard was taken care of. Everybody's happy. I mean, maybe, maybe the security guard was happier when he thought he was going to get 5K, but probably realized pretty quickly that it was a mistake. Nonetheless, we move on. Host the Casino Live. We're here Monday through Friday. I am David Tuckman. Thank you for joining us. I see you in the chat, Leonardo Rosas. Res Dog Fishing, Paello, Croc Doc, M Stone, Gustavo, Josh Prino, Not Joking 777, Steve from Chicago. Thank you all for being here on this Friday evening. Should be a fun night. Andy stacks very quickly up about 10K. That's crazy. You're too good, and I can't tell you right now. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> What's up, Baked Alaska? I'm, I don't know. It is me. I'm going to be here all night long yeah, watching some poker. Don't know what Mars has, but we can see Stanley's got trip tens. Big John calling here with eight. That's um, very ambitious. Thank you. All the draws missed. Straight draws missed. Flush draw missed. And does Big John pay him off? Yeah, and you can see wow. Big John, not a believer. Okay. Thanks. Got to be a frustrating start for Big John. He picks up pocket tens and pocket eights and loses both of them. <clears throat> As always, the players are talking. I'll do my best to shut up so you guys can hear them.
Hi, Joey. Hello, Miss Vicky May. What's up, Ryan? How are you? Thanks for joining us here. Seven high flop. Two spades out there. Big John. He's in a gambling mood tonight. You can just feel it. Double barrel here from Marsh. You get the job done. Or just get there. I mean, Big John's kind of got a bluff at it, right? I mean, he floated from out of position. Nah, no, he's just going to give up. Kind of bizarre. I mean, if you're floating from out of position just to hit a queen or a jack or running diamonds, it's not going to be a profitable float. You have to occasionally win the hand or win the pot without making the best hands. Now, obviously, in this particular spot, Big John saved himself some money because Mars rivered the straight and certainly wasn't folding. But Big John doesn't know that. Hello, George. How are you? You'll notice every Friday night, we've got a Hawaii kind of tropical theme going on here at Hustle Casino. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what it's all about, but I like it. I like seeing Louie in a Hawaiian shirt. I'm wearing my favorite Hawaiian underwear. Get a raise from Andy. Big John is going to three bet. Started the hand with just over $10,000. And again, Big John, just nothing going his way early on. Loss of tens, eights. Now he is behind with ace-king versus Yeah, big turn card there for Big John. He moves all in. And Andy stuck around when he had the best of it, but gets rid of it when he's behind. John, the other night turned 2,000 to 70,000. 70? Yes. 2,000 to 70? 2,000. Yeah. First two, <laughs> I, and I said that. We well, started with a quadruple up with 2K, yeah, yeah. and then that, yeah. that, and then up from there, man, it was like. Wow. Only two. Yeah, my. We both have an A6 price suited. Yeah. That's how he started, that 2K. Not easy to do, that's for sure. 2,000 and 70,000. I really like the hand before the flop. Yeah. Right? Me I mean, all, all kinds of possibilities. I love how every night it's such a different vibe going on here at Hustle Casino Live. Different dynamic. I think in a lineup like this, Andy is obviously going to be a favorite. But I'm really curious to see Stanley Tang play because he really doesn't mind pushing the envelope if he's in the right lineup. A pair of jacks for Stanley. Francisco with ace high. I feel like the best poker players out there, the good poker players, are constantly adjusting their play. Wow, Francisco makes running hearts. Rivers the absolute nuts. Check mark in the bottom left corner of, his, of the screen. 
indicates he has won the hand if it goes to showdown. And now it's just a question if Stanley can get away from it. Do you have a shot clock in this Friday game? 30 seconds stacked on your hands. But those little orange chips that say time are time chips, obviously. Players get an extra, extra time when they use those. Yeah, I know probably some of you turn this on, you're thinking, ah, no Garrett, I'm disappointed. Like I said, we do have a special guest coming for you pretty shortly, I want to say, because when I walked in, they were already at the table. So we're on a little bit of a delay, so I imagine they'll be showing up shortly. But I just love to see how good players adjust according to how the game is going. We got New Orleans in the house. What's up, Henry Allen? I like New Orleans. I went to New Orleans a long time ago with Bart Hansen. We had a great weekend down there. Played some poker. Ate some amazing food. I am a, a big fan of New Orleans. <laughs> Why so funny? <laughs> you call you never get trapped. You, you raise <laughs> four or five hundred raises again. The funny thing was, I, I was thinking of raising, right? And then I look who's behind me. I'm like, uh oh. Forget about it. Just, just mark your cards. I have an H and I. I can't fall. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get him eventually. Some history him and Francisco. Fernie Fresh says, "Hot take. Action is actually much looser, entertaining without Garrett." There you go. I just think it's different. I mean, I love watching Garrett. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of his. I love the way he plays poker, but I like seeing other people play poker too. And as I said, I mean, I just think we get spoiled. So we're so used to seeing a million dollars on the table. Especially recently, with the lineups that Ryan Feldman puts out there, that we forget. We're like, wait a second. There's like three hundred thousand on the table. That's not a small game. Three hundred thousand dollars. I mean, most of us play poker where there's, you know, maybe there's three thousand dollars on the table total. It's a joke, Francis. Hey, Mike. No. Okay, twenty-six. I bet over 28. Thank you, Andy. I appreciate it. Thank you, Big John. Shotgun Willie. I'm very happy. Can, can we call Big John Shotgun Willie tonight? I kind of prefer that. I mean, he's got the shirt on. I'm going to call him Shotgun Willie tonight. I hope, he, I hope he's okay with that. That first hand, I had a good hand, but it's like, damn, half my stack in the first one. Monster's not bluff. Ever since he put I his hand down. I had my down. head yeah. today. Oh. Today, no more bluff. No more bluff. <laughs> I had tens on that first hand. That was a hard one to fold. Probably good. Too late, we already saw the show. I didn't, I didn't bluff. Andy goes. I have to $800. Tang comes along tens. for the ride. Oh, he says he had tens. No good. Wow. No good. Andy's Kings very much in the lead. First down, too. $1,200. I don't remember what was on the board. The jack, two small. Whatever yeah. it was. I'm not for sure. Oh, yeah? Jack, small, small. Jack, yeah. five, six. Jack, seven. Yeah. Stanley is now open ended. Does not get there. Andy's king still good. Mm. Nice bet there from Stanley Tang. Gets Andy to fold the kings. If you, if you were to check, I was going to ship it. I'm <laughs> in trouble. Wow. Hustler Casino Live, brought to you by High Stakes Poker Productions. 
One of the coolest things about this show and what Ryan Feldman and Nick Fertucci and the crew have able to been able to do is I just think putting it on YouTube for free. Not all the time. I can't handle We have over 300 videos now. It's pretty insane. Like, if you've ever missed a show, if you've ever missed a little part of a show, you can watch them all, and they're all free. Yeah, it's long hand. You got, like, three, four bigs. That's it. Shout out to 16K. Yeah. No, 1600. on a Tuesday game. Yeah, it was getting, like, crazy. I feel like Oprah. You get a pair, and you get a pair, and you get a pair. Pairs for everybody. Preflop Razor is actually Mike X, and Francisco is going to raise with the worst of the pairs. And maybe this gets rid of all the non-pair hands, but I don't think Mike X folds, and I don't think Andy folds. Wani Sim says Andy has been running bad for about six months. We'll see if tonight is the night that it turns it all around. I don't know what to do. That's right. It's almost 3,000 in there. <laughs> wow, this is a tight laydown for Mike X. Oh. You have like 10 or so. 20 behind? I start with 26. Or we start with 26. Okay. And he's getting about 2 to 1. He's going to make this call. Of course, he does have the advantage that he does close the action. Hmm. I'm thinking of a card. That's not one of them. This is going to make it a little bit more difficult. Both players probably think they have the best hand. Well, I think Francisco thinks he has the best hand. I think Andy is a little bit concerned that maybe Francisco's got the overpair. That's a really big bet. Wow, why so much? Kind of puts Andy in a tough spot. I don't I don't know if he can just call this and then get away from it. Pot will be 24,000, almost 25,000, and Francisco, Francisco will only very, have... Very, very tight fold. Yeah, look at that. He said it. Very, very tight, tight fold. fold and <laughs> One? All right, left one. This one? Open. <laughs> I want to see the other Seven. one. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Jesus Christ. Yeah. You had him. I had it. I had it. I had it. 100% had it. Yeah, I had it. Yeah, had it. Yeah. What'd you have, Andy? So tilting. Nine. Eight, seven. Nine? Eight, eight, seven suited. Uh, eight? Eight, seven suited. It's a good, good, good card. Play so bad. I'll get you, Francisco. Just keep... <laughs> really? Why are you always against me? Because I'm, he always took my money. I never beat you in one hand. Never. You had me? Really? Of course he had to be. I could be seven high. <laughs> no, he had pocket seven. Oh, you Francisco's can, aggressive seven. play gets pocket tens to fold and pocket nines to fold. Not a very good hand, but... <laughs> no, I'm not hand. <laughs> if you beat a pocket seven... I have two seven. Yeah, I know you have. I believe you. I know you have two seven. Good bet. That was a good bet. Very strong. Mine was good. Yeah. You never know. See, when I have two, I never know with you, Francisco. I have two people behind me. I've been playing with you for a long time. Still never know with you. I never know with you, man. And, uh... I always guess wrong with you, too. Yesterday, I thought you had nothing. Call this me. is a much better flop for pocket nines than the last one. Yeah. And it's really interesting because Mike X actually does have a big draw. We can see he's drawing dead. But a queen or seven would be devastating for Mike X. Oh, no. Oh, this is troublesome for Mike X. Pot's got 2,600 20, in there. So not, not much in there, but Lingland only has 13,000 behind. Got to imagine that Mike is going to go pot here, or maybe even over pot. And then when Lingland raises, what does Mike do? 
But do flat for seven. Big cars come, I don't know. And sure enough, Mike does go a little bit over potty. That's 3,000 into 2,600. This could not have worked out better for Lingland. Nice little slow play by her. Let's Mike get there, and she is going to make the max. I'm in the hand. I'm in the hand, Francisco. <clears throat> Don't act too much. Adding one minute. I'm all in. All in. Ball. Quick call, and Mike X is going to see the bad news. Yeah. Check 10. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, he kept talking to me. Stop. I feel bad when you go here. Because you wasted well, You wasted my time, Chip. Because I was going to bet, and I had to. Oh. oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. on me. Yes. How do you know? <laughs> I got lucky. No, I was really. That was. She always done it. I'm King A. You're King A. Yeah. But you didn't even play. You didn't even play for for. Uh, you didn't even play for King Four. Thirteen four. Thirteen four. That's correct. You bought the whole bankroll, huh? Even the yellow chips, huh? <laughs> I feel like every time I commentate on Lingwin, she buys in short and doubles up within the first 30 minutes of the show. It's just amazing. <laughs> well, you do this too? I know the feeling, man. When the yellow chips come out, you know it's desperate. <laughs> well, last time you on the chip, people like, where's And once again, Lingwin, our early winner. Andy's up a little bit. He was up 10K. Gave a little of that back, though. Mike Hex down 15K. Big John down 5,000. Tough start to Mike Hex's night. I mean, not much you can do there, especially the way that hand played out. I shouldn't even pay you up. Shouldn't pay you up. Shouldn't even pay you up. I should just go hey. in. Oh, you're still thinking about that? Yeah, I'm still thinking about it. Something just ago. changed. Yeah. It changed. That doesn't mean there, Mike. You brought me the bad man. No, I just brought you. You wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Six. I just wanted no queen to show up. That was brutal, yeah. No no queen, no this seven. Is the you would have lost. You would have lost. You would have lost. Sure. Yeah. 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 Sure. Shall we? Then my fifty. Okay. That was certainly one of those cases of be careful what you wish for. You might just get there. Andy raises. Stanley three bets. Mike X calls. Andy's gonna call as well. You're gathering it. No, Andy four bets. No, you're not. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry, Morris. Putting your 50 for the staff. You get your March. $50 for the guys. Yeah, for the full service team. They just got $3 a piece and they split it up for everybody. No, it's not for upstairs, no, it's for downstairs. Kidding. 200 straddle, C3. Uh, Lingland is going to make everybody pay if they want to see a flop. She takes it up to $1,500. Oh, not yet. Don't touch the bottle. Oh, <laughs> I gave you my chips, not my cards, huh? All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
playing 50-100-100 here on a Friday night. Thanks for joining us. We'll be here until 11 p.m. local time, so still another five and a half hours left in our show. As usual, Ling Lin crushing. You could even talk, you're like yeah. slurring, you're like, Johnny Bai, you suck. That was good. <laughs> All your chips is like everywhere. Yeah, too. that makes $50,000 right now. <laughs> yeah, that's <it's> so good. <laughs> uh, one day. 600 now. <laughs> But when I play, I don't, I don't use, use the drink. Okay. It's more fun when you're drinking for sure. Yeah, so but it's more fun. Yeah. Right? Yeah, okay. Some of my biggest losses come from drinking in front of Yeah? Yeah. I just black out next you, morning, you, wake you, up, and forget. You cannot see it. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> That same flop. Yeah, the same flop as yeah. yeah. the same flop as 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 the same the same flop as 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 the same the lose <laughs> all the time and then he figured out it's true Did you have to he leave? Did you have to leave? No, no, it's over. That was an invitation. I was very happy to keep it going with you guys. I know, I know. Special for you, Andy. 100 to go right now. You can do it. I thought it's maximum. That's what they say. Uh, yes. Yeah, that's what they say. That's what they say. Maximum the whole game? Two oh, yeah. Two rounds. Oh, you can straddle your own. That's what I do. If I want to straddle, I straddle. I don't ask anybody else. It's, 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 it's a group effort, you know? It's more fun when we join you. Three. 
Big John's nightmarish night continues. All right. And he's going to get just enough to pay her off and see the bad news. Julie. Hey. And well, there's my surprise for you guys. Julie is back. Somebody in the chat was actually asking, hey, where is, where's Julie? And Julie's here. I'm pretty excited about it. We have not seen Julie, at least I haven't seen Julie in a while. So I'm super excited to see her back. She is here. Julie, a Hollywood producer. Andrew says, you all think Tuckman gets paid by the hour or by the likes? It's by the likes, okay? I get one penny for every like, which is why I ask for lots of likes, guys. Different style. Different style. But I know nobody's better than you, Francisco. <laughs> Lauren in the box dealing. Magic as well here tonight on our Friday big game. By the way, pretty exciting. Yo House came to L.A. this week for Hustler Casino. Jesse Sylvia, 2012 World Series of Poker main event runner-up. And more importantly, his significant other, Ashley Sleeth, who is a... YouTube streamer or Twitch streamer, but she's actually having a meetup game here starting tomorrow. So I told them to come down tonight, so hopefully they come down, and if they do, we'll get them in the booth. I would not have thought that one coming, but you do. Yeah, of course. I don't feel nice Oh, thank you. You too. You look beautiful. Oh, my God. I got drenched in the rain. I know. It's started raining out of nowhere when I was driving. It was, like, raining right now? Crazy. Out of nowhere, too. Raining on all. Sam Lee says, hey, Tuck, you and Berkey heads up for roles. Would you do it? I literally wouldn't play anybody for roles. Did you drive here? Yeah. It was, it was you usually windy. ride your bike. For three. I was going to walk. I left and it said 45 minutes and it ended up taking an hour and 45. So, Friday traffic. I mean, I would play people heads up, but playing somebody for roles seems really silly to me. Because what happens if I lose? Then what? Then, I'm, then I've got to... Uh, then I can't play poker anymore? Production. That seems dumb. <laughs> he never checks my battery pack. Why are the time shifts are different, right? Yeah, they change them. Mm -hmm. What about the chips? Check yours, Tony? We have Fox now, though, Julie. Gospel Slang says, what stakes do you play at? I'll play, you know, I'll play 5, 10, 20. Um, I'm going to play on a Max Payne Monday at some point. Which is kind of 10, 20, 40. But 5, 10 is a really good game for me. I like that. Then it becomes a 5, 10, 20 game and it becomes pretty cool. So you went to Yeah, I mean, I came back. I came back. We got hot Huh? And that was exciting. It's very exciting, yeah. What else has happened? I mean, I get it. People always say that, like, heads up for rolls. Yeah. Like, I know it's just a saying. But and I went back again, and then I'm probably gonna go back again. And I, I never really understood. I know there are some poker players out there who will literally put like 80% of their bankroll on a table. I've never been that way. Gut shot here for Big John. Mike X with some kicker issues. Ling Lin with the best of it right now. She's gonna bet $500. Big John makes the call. What does Mike do with his jack? She's very old. She's like 70 something. Yeah. Um, I, I'm exploring some business stuff out I there. I'm tired of losing poker, so that's a big no, no, no. <laughs> Board pairs. Okay. I think Lingland should bet this again. I know a lot of players who check this back because they're like, ah, somebody could have a four. Your hand is just unlikely to improve, so I want to bet this and get value. Yeah, it's not worth the risk because the game is so small too. Big John gets out of the way, and you just build a pot up against a worse jack. Oh yeah, that, yeah, that was fun. Man. Is that twelve? That was for prices. We, we like, it wasn't even real money. Yeah, no, there's no gambling at all. Thirty. Yeah. 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 When he's called, so he's turning his hand into a bluff, I guess. 
But he's doing it with a, a with a really, really good hand. And I'm just wondering, what's the play when she calls this? What's the play on the river? In position, you can make an argument for raising here, and then you can probably, you know, you, you can take the show down on the river because she's likely to check it. But at a position, what's she? What's he going to do? Her hand is just too strong to fold here, so she does make the call. By the way, Big John would have gotten there with the 8 6. And now, what do you do if you're Mike? You're just kind of in this like, oh, she called me. I've got a good, but not very good hand, really. Good, not great hand. Yeah, the biggest thing is like, I want to be able to be able to travel to Asia very easily and it's having someone at the home base is very convenient. And I, I mean, I guess, is he going to turn his Jack-8 into a bluff? Yeah, he is. Wow. He is actually turning Jack-8. He's turning top pair into a bluff. Kind of next level thinking here for Mike X. Something you don't normally see from a player. How much? 8,000? I mean, I guess he's telling the story that he's got a four. Sorry, God bless this is a really, really unusual play. I mean, with top pair, usually you see players just call and kind of get the showdown cheap. Instead, Mike X has actually raised the turn and now basically bet pot on the river to try to get Langland to fold a better hand. Now, if he did this with a hand like five, six of spades, you know, something like that, eight, nine of spades, those all missed. Six, eight of spades got there. But a lot of those, a lot of those spade draws that he might have picked up on that turn did not get there. I mean, this is this is not an easy call. I mean, the check raise on the turn and then the shove on the river. Ace jack is not supposed to be good here. I love people in the chat who are like, easy call. Game's easy when you can see the cards, guys. Oh, Mike, you got four? She's going to let it go, and look at that play from Mike X. Turns top pair into a bluff. Thank you. Uh, after COVID, uh, I, 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 I
I I didn't hear the last. I, I said I had very yeah, yeah, big eyes. I, I was supposed to, when you raised me on the turn, I, my instinct was just snap go on in. Because I was so big. Huh? Like, so like, yeah, of course. I've seen him do that many times. Did you say capable of what? No. Yeah. That's what I thought. I like. Mike, isn't that the same way you used to know? Uh, okay. Yeah. Sure. I know there was five. Well, there's there's no one is back. We got to do another round? Yeah. Mar just started okay. one. You only got two long max, huh? You want to use it up? I just really in first one just hour? Hold on. You can't get on. Jesus. <laughs> when did I dub up? You don't up I gave it back. I just lost Holy a big pop. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't, is it two maximum? I thought that was for the different game, not for the Friday game. I don't know. Oh. It's whatever I think we all agree on. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. No, but do you want to like keep it all? I think that's no. too much. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Okay. I don't think you will use the timer. Me? Yeah, Nine high flop, two hearts out there. Yeah, I don't want to Big flop here for Big John. Big John's actually got a double gutter to go along with the flush draw. A seven, a jack, or a heart. Makes Big John's hand. So he can play this one pretty aggressively. Instead, he just calls. And he gets there. That was easy. So Big John with... Oh, Stanley steps in it. Big John's got the nuts. I don't know what Stanley has, but... Big John has the absolute stone-cold nuts. <laughs> See if Stanley has some sort of draw. Want to flip it over? Oh, wow. You, you hit it. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I'm You can run it once because Stanley's drawn dead. You can do 10 times, you can lose. You want to do 10? Yeah. How much is it? I have good news for you, Stanley, that you have. They can run it 19 times. Makes no difference. Tang is drawing dead. The full double up there for Shotgun Willie. Those you break it down. Okay, huh? you got it. Five, six, six, five. This is five of yours. Five, so. six, 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 five. Six, five. Okay. Instead of doing that, here's five for you. She's paying oh, five. Okay, oh, okay. You, back. Uh -huh. you can just use that to pay. Okay. So, so fifteen hundred. Well, that ought to be easy to figure this one out. You just use that to pay. Yeah. <laughs> no. That's what I'm saying. No, it is easy, but it don't sound easy. No, it's easy at all. Five, six, five. Yeah. Button move. I've been to LA for I've been to LA for a long time. 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 i Oh, that's, oh, look what happened there. That's new and different, too. It is. The shot player. Is it much faster, like, for us to see hands? You don't prefer for hands? I don't know. I probably have to put this in here, huh? It is more efficient. Yes, it is than you doing it, yeah. It's probably easier for Mine's you. Mine's an overachiever. He prefers. <laughs> <laughs> Most people are like, oh, that's so much easier. I've seen some really fast, 600. like, like hand shuffling too, though. Like, you can still get a lot of hands in. You know? I moved here when I, I moved to, uh, up north when I was two years old. Wow. Yeah. Long time. But basically my whole life in, in the U.S. Wow. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Magic is here. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, honey. How are you? The World Poker Tour now has a real money online poker room, and it's called WPT Global. Play in cash games and tournaments for real money in over 50 countries on WPT Global. We'll even match your deposit up to 1,200. That's right, 100% deposit match up to 1,200. 
Sign up now at WPTGlobal.com slash YT and use bonus code YT81 before it's too late. Chinese restaurant and that's like you know they would come in and be like look at the orange chicken and then it's, it's those white people and then Chinese people come in they never ask for it. I like orange beef at the Encore at the Wazuzu at the Encore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what is your association with orange chicken? No, but what you oh, I, I don't have oh you don't have it? Most of your money comes in. Why did somebody that's tell me that, that you had something to do with orange chicken? Orange chicken? Oh, I wish I'd be rich. I'd be Stanley rich if I, if okay, I made, I commanded I orange mean, chicken. I need something. Eight, 800. A lot of Chinese restaurants will, will yeah, add orange chicken right to the menu oh, just for white oh, people. Yeah. Okay. You know, like it's not normally anyway, on the menu, but they'll add it to the menu because to you, make the white people happy. Chinese you don't order orange I, I like orange chicken personally. Oh, okay. For me, okay. I like it. Yeah, but but it's just Most like something. It's, you're saying it's a complete. Yeah. yeah. You're like, you're it's Western or American. Action flop here. Yeah. For sure. For sure. Pardon me. I'm just enjoying my orange chicken. I know. I mean, authentic. I mean, I grew up in New York. Big John bet 1600. Mike X was the free flop raiser. So this is a little more unconventional play. Big John leading right into the razor, and Mike X has middle set on what is a very wet board. My parents came to visit me in college. I took them to Panda Express. Just calls. And he's going to call as well with a gut shot. You know what? I've been in the U.S. for five years, and I never tried Panda Express. Oh, really? They have good orange chicken. Very good orange chicken. They're good for orange chicken? Yeah. Nice turn card here for Mike X, but it's going to be a lot harder for him to get action now. Both players wary that somebody's got a queen. I love Walmart. We can see Mike X can't lose the hand now. I mean, if you're Mike X, I mean, this is actually a perfect spot to just call. The times that Andy is bluffing, let him continue bluffing. The times he has a queen, he's going to bet the river. Obviously easy for us, we can see the cards, but you start thinking about the hands that Andy might have here. When he overcalls, he's gonna have a lot of queens in his range. And if he has a queen, he's gonna bet the river anyway. Wow, what a river card that would have been, huh? Andy makes his jack, but Big John gets out of the way. He would have made a flush. Right now, he's he's kicking himself right now because he folded and he would have made a flush, but in about 15 seconds, he's going to realize that he got pretty lucky. Hollywood culture has become much more like Texas. Yeah. Where are you based here? I mean, your San, company? San Francisco. Company's based here. Well, we're like everywhere, but our HQ is in San Francisco. That's where you started? Call it. Call it. How much? Right, Mike, I was bluffing, and then and then now I made a hand. I love it when it happens. Why do I feel like you have something weird? He's not putting his time chips in. It's not a sweet the pot. Ten. Eleven thousand one hundred. How much in there? I have a jack, Mike. Second. Uh, Ten seconds. Uh, at least one of these. Uh -huh. Julie, you make any movie lately? <sighs> uh, 
Ten, how much is it? 11,100. 11,100. Yeah. Meals for cards. I'm going to maybe in January. I'm going to start with some proper math. Thank you, Abby. Very cold. 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 I thought you bet when I had eight seven o'clock. No read on that. That feels makes me feel better. I think he doesn't have a club. Oh yeah, nine, I guess. Adam Blue. What? What are you gonna clean the strain of the brush? Uh-huh. That time Mike X did have it. Good fold from Andy. This, this Big John Lucky. It, it was really confusing because he bet and then you call. And then he bet again, then you fold it. I never hit I never hit my It was really confusing. Well if I do hit it, there's a pair of the block. Magic, did I take care of you? It's a good card Two to go. Get new, new well, a tough start for Mike X's night has turned much better, courtesy of a big bluff with the Jack-8 in there. Flops a set of nines, turns a full house, and wins a nice, wins a nice, up a nice pot. So I can go two more minutes of torture, and then, uh, you know, <laughs> she has to call. You're saying you were bluffing? Uh, torture, that's huh? You were bluffing? No, I wanted you to. I'm not sure what oh, you yeah. have, but I really wanted you to call. I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. No, I meant like I'm torture impatient. I want. I want the answer it. now. That's why I fold it, Mike. Because I read as I can't afford to put another one. Then <laughs> I only got two left. So. She yeah, the full house like, like, Is this a shot? I had a very big hand. Overpair? Kind of, yes. Ace Same. Ace Jack. Jack yeah. yeah, huh? I might mean, only lose to four. I don't think you would fold Ace Jack on me. You don't think so? I don't I can't I don't lie anyway, but no way I would lie on stream. <laughs> <laughs> I lie. Well I I Our experience is different. So many people lie on <laughs> no, I don't lie in life. I'm the king of lying on the screen. No way, I need to lie on the screen. Not in the real life. Not in his, not not in his wife. Lie. Nothing? Raise it. 12 and uh, Did I put these out also? <laughs> is yeah, that what you I added them. <laughs> you went all in. You put your time chips in, and I was like, Heads up. let's not do that. I, Mike, That should have been the. I, we should be able to sweeten the pot and win. Uh, we should be able to win other people's time chips right, right. when we stack them. <laughs> That's a good game. I'm with you, Julie. I like that. Stanley was just king high. Queen high, sorry. Big John. Mystery hand does make the call. 53 50 in there. No reason for Stanley to slow down. 3,000. You know, a lot of players, I think, to me, they make the mistake of they double barrel more often when they have nothing. When they hit their hand, a lot of times they check it. I'm like, well, if you want to bluff when a scare card comes off, then you occasionally have to bet when the scare card actually hits you. What's up, Lakers and One Nation? What's up, Daniel? Gospel? Andrew R? Pocarella? Wesley Moran, thank you for being here on a Friday evening with me. I'm David Tuckman. Hustler Casino Live brought to you by High Stakes Poker Productions. Sponsored by WPT Global. Mike X under the gun plus one. He's going to raise with King 10 suited. So I am a little confused now. I guess Mike X... Thought he had the best hands with Jackie? I don't know. I would have thought that his sizing would be indicative of him thinking it was a bluff. I don't know. Who knows? The exact same position. He raised to 3,000 with what he claims pocket seven. Because he showed one, right? 
And it was check. seven. So the best it could have had. Eight high flop. Seven. Nars. Mars at the top two. Oh, is that a me check? Check. Big John's got top pair with a jack kicker. This could get interesting. That saves Big John, who certainly would have lost one or two streets of value at the Jack-8. Langland turning bottom pair into a bluff here. She's got a gut shot as well. It's obviously not going to work against exactly what Mars has right now. Just a question of how Mars wants to play it. 4,500 back to Mars. Just an hour into our show, and we have seen some amazing bluffs already. It's been a good, good night of poker. And Mars is going to three bet this. To me, one of the issues with three betting this exact hand is I don't know if you get called by worse. Can I see the turn? And you're obviously not getting a better hand to fold. You're not going to get a set of fours to fold. You're not getting five, six to fold. I mean, I guess you deny the equity when somebody has 9-6 or 9-10 or 6-4. But I don't know. What do you guys think in the chat? Why can't I just have You like the three bet there from Mars? <laughs> it's very hard to have. Uh, uh, Regardless of that hand, Lingland still a winner tonight of $5,200. Mars, our big winner, up five figures. Julie's going to pump it up with the suited connector. Scott Graham says, that's why you three bet. You find out where you're at. Okay, okay, sure. You know, you know, honestly, I was going to re-raise, but then I realized that Lingling was on I'm not going to argue with you, man. With this hand. That's so, put Lingling protected you, yeah. So I was like, yes. why, why am I raising You're this welcome. shitty hand? Really like, hold it. Yeah. 3,000. <laughs> Ling, you got your wish. I am on kill. Mike put me on kill. Made me feel big in hand. I don't like it. Heads up. Start a fire. Mm -hmm. Flush draw for both players. Technically, nine high is the best hand. And as you can see, not only nine high the best hand, but Stanley also with a better flush draw than Julie. The nine still plays. So Stanley semi bluffing with the best hand right now. Twenty five thousand in the pot. 25.7 to be exact. It's all in for Julie to call. So she's not getting a very good price. Can I say the word? Stanley Tang, the founder of DoorDash, went to Stanford. I will do one. You won. 
I go whatever the person wants. Yeah, I'm somewhere. He do what? I know. Gildan says, uh, Stanley been in the lab, would you agree, Tuck? I don't know. I mean, he's definitely, listen, I, I think most very successful people, most very smart people, I mean, certainly Stanley is successful and smart. I think most people that check those boxes and are competitive don't want to come here and just donk off money. So they're going to get better. I, mean, I don't think Stanley Tang is going to be a professional poker player, but if he's going to battle for tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars, and he's here, uh, you know he wants to win. And he's obviously a pretty smart guy. Don't know what Big John has, but this is very unlikely to be a bluff. I mean, Big John, let's think of the range of Big John's hands here. Jacks plus, ace king suited. Five, six. I don't think Big John is doing this with a hand worse than Jacks or Ace King suited. Yeah. I'll say Ace King. Why, why, why not just put it in? Why not? Sixty-four plus four. So you're like ten, eleven thousand. Ten seconds. Not a very tight ball. I gotta see what Big John has here. Come on, show me. Let's see if we're right. I mean, I'm, just, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna flop something and then I'm gonna call and then I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna lose another six thousand. They didn't steal it again, huh? Oh, that's right. Kings, there you go. Good fold by Andy. See, that's kind of fun, right? We get to know what he has. Uh, Big John just not five betting light there. Good fold by Andy and. Like I said, I mean, maybe you give them jacks, but queens don't do very well against a range of jacks, kings, aces, and ace king. What a fold! That's my guarantee. Whenever I have a hand, I don't think my hand is better. And if a glove came in so bad. But I, want, I kind of wanted to see a flop, and I didn't want to see it, so that's why I. Thirteen hundred. <laughs> Oh, Raised from Mars, three bet from Lingland. Stanley makes the call, and Mike X has got Jacks in the small blind. And he's cutting out four betting chips. Bump it up. 40, Mike Graminski says, Love you, Lingling. Get in line, Mike. We all love her. Julie with pocket eights. The Red Snowmen. Julie folds the eights back over to Mars. Don't know what Mars has. We'll see right now. He does not have a hand he wants to fight with. He lets it go. Langland probably thinking, what was I doing here? Call, Stanley calls. Set of fours for Stanley. I, I don't know if Mike's going to go away from this one. Pot's already $13,000. And Stanley Tang with a set of fours. It has been a tumultuous night for Mike X. And he is basically pot committing himself on this one. And hard to imagine a scenario where he lets this fold. He folds this now. Great, thirty-two thousand. I was waiting. For, oh yeah, I'd already folded. Yeah, folded. I'm daydreaming. Sorry. You gotta watch that. 
Yeah, I'll go one. One time. Oh, boy. <laughs> Again? <laughs> wow. Mike X looking for an eight, a jack, a queen, a club. Give him a little bit of love on the turn. Give him a chance. Always good to get a sweat, right? Now he's open-ended. A king, an eight, or a jack will win it for him. Otherwise, Stanley Tang stacks him. Board pairs. And then Mr. Tang is going to win himself a $52,000 pot. We become so numb to these enormous pots because we get so many big ones. Just another fifty-two thousand dollar pot here on Hustler Casino Live. What do you say? Oh, that's true. Thank you, Sam. It's been a good week for DoorDash. Stanley Chang wins a nice pot there. My wife has ordered DoorDash like nine straight days. With the heat here in LA, she's officially on strike. She's like, I'm not cooking. I can't bear to put the oven on in the house. So every night it's just a new DoorDash order. So you're welcome, Stanley. I hope you appreciate it. <laughs> For what? Uh, dash pass is like the you, you can don't wave have a Chase the fee. Credit card? Huh? Chase. Yeah, I mean, oh, you can. Is it? How, what is the? How does it work with Chase? I do Chase have Chase actually. Chase software. Stanley picks up fours oh, again. No, 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 no. Uh, no. Cool. What, what does that give you with the Chase? The Chase? Uh, it gets you free dash pass. Oh, it's free? For free? Yeah. Okay. Twenty-six hundred. Oh, maybe I should get one. How about if you stack him? Huh? If I stack him? <laughs> I got free. I got, there's nothing I can give him. He has everything. Free coaching. Or if you buy him. What just happened? 2600. Call. Heads up. Stanley does not hit a set this time, but four still might be good. I don't think Stanley's going to fold just yet here. Surely he's going to have ace king, ace queen, ace jack, some bluffs in a range, at least some of the time. Good turn card for Stanley. See if Julie fires again. There's 9,000 in the pot. If she fires again here, you've got to imagine that she's got some equity. She checks. And Stanley's just going to try to end this hand right here. And Julie has not snap called, which means that Stanley's probably ahead. Andrew R says Stanley is becoming table captain. It's one of the things I like about Stanley's game. He will adjust his style based on who he's playing against and with. And as I said at the very beginning of the show, I, I think in a lineup like this, Stanley is going to try to be the somewhat table captain. Um, the fact that he's on, he's two to Andy's left will help that. I also like action. I have another round. I had a bluff catcher. See you guys. I'll do it with you. Sure. No one, Mike, are you back in? Can just be up to you. I don't sure, feel sure. How much? Sure. 30. You don't have to do it every time. Whatever you want to like do. Yeah, when I feel lucky. Can yeah. I get some <laughs> one kiss? Yeah. Eric says, uh, Tuck, do you think seasoned cash game players would do better in tournaments than seasoned tournament players would do in cash games? Curious to know your thoughts on this. It really depends. I just think good poker players can, good poker players can probably make the adjustments that are necessary to do well in the other game. Um, through the years, there used to be like, oh, tournament donks, they're all terrible. I, I, I have a ton of respect for good tournament players. 
the ability to play all those different stack sizes, you know, whether it's 150 big blinds or 30 big blinds or 60 big blinds, that's, that's difficult, you know? The ability to kind of like navigate ICM, also very, very difficult. So I just think good poker players are good poker players. Yeah, what is alcohol? 800. Yeah. I have to win one of these against Stanley. Can't win them all. <laughs> Maybe he can. I'll give you one example, though. I think the World Series of Poker main event, I think especially the first few days of that, the first, say, three, four days of that tournament, certainly favors somebody who's used to playing deep. So if you're a good cash game player, I do think that favors you. Um... But again, I just think I think good poker players are able to make the adjustments that are that are necessary. Pair fives for Julie. She does make the call. Jack doesn't help either player. Stanley's going to check. Check is good. Stanley with just like the nut low here. Can't beat the board, and he's going to give up. Five. And Stanley's like, ah, why didn't I bluff at it? I could have got you to fold that one. One, one. Finally. Kid T says, nice. again, Tuckman is wrong. Okay, thank you for joining us, kid. Appreciate your, uh, your response. There's no black and white with him. It's just I'm wrong. Big John with trip aces. Hoping somebody's got something to pay him off. But as we can see, not much there. Thank you, Ryan H. Appreciate that. Good one, huh? So you got a good one down there, huh? Feel like it. Thank you, baby. Eric Beck says, hey Tuck, why do older men put more gel or, or mousse in their hair than younger men? Is that true? Big John has quads. No. Yeah, I'm close. I can neither confirm nor deny that. I don't know if that's true or not. Bill Wilson says, 20 years ago, cash was king. Now tournament donkeys are pretty good. I mean, there, yeah, there definitely was kind of this thought process that, like, tournament donks. Oh, yeah, tournament players, they suck. I just see a lot of really, really bad cash game players. And I don't think a bad cash game player is going to be better at tournaments. I think they're probably going to be pretty bad at tournaments, too. She's minor tilt, but maybe not. Jeff Watson points out that's because we don't have hair. Adam Brown says, has the Joe Hashim or Greg Raymer payout ever been top for the main event? Yeah, actually, uh, the, like just the next year, Jamie Gold actually was 12 million in 2006. 1,600. So Big John's going to bet his ace eight. Lingland's not going to fold. In fact, she's going to raise. Thank you. 
Take a look at how everybody's doing tonight. Stanley up $28,800. Mars up thirteen five. Mike X having a tough night. Those pocket jacks went up in flames. And he is down 29-6. But it's been an action-filled night for Mike X. A couple of tough spots there. Made a straight against a full house. Had an overpair against a set on a wet board. A lot of hearts out there, King High. The only player with a heart in their hand is that lady right there, Julie. Not only does she have a heart, she also has the best hand with nines. Eric asking when we're going to do a high stakes PLO stream. I don't know when. We've had a few on our show though. You can always um, you can always check our archives. I know we had a uh, pretty cool one with Paul Pierce way back when. Esam neighbor says, Tuck, when are you going to be on the Nick Vertucci podcast? Nick Vertucci podcast with Veronica Brill. I, want to start, I think he started that like six weeks ago or so. Pretty good. Um, my guess is I'll probably be on it when he runs out of good guests. Trip six is here for Lingland. And Julie looking for help, and she gets it. Wow. Look at that. The suck out and then the re-suck out. In fairness, Julie could have caught a heart or a nine. And she's going to check and go for the check raise here. And I think Lingland has to bet, right? Trip sixes. Queen Jack got there. It's another draw that could have theoretically gotten there. I don't think Queen Jack would check raise the river, though. So I think when Julie check raises this, she's pretty much telling the story that she's got, like, the nut flush or better. I'm all in. All in. And Julie moves all in. And those trip sixes shrivel up real quick. Lingland now basically with a bluff catcher. Who is the best female player in the pickle? John. <laughs> no. <laughs> what a fold from Lingland. That is a top-notch fold. Trip six is in the muck. Really, really tough spot, but a very good fold from Lingland. Thank you. <clears throat> Asian Andy says, I think Lingland folds. Julie just doesn't bluff here. That's the real question. It's like, what bluffs does she have in her range there? Right, what does she have? What's she bluffing with? I can't tell the pros. You're right. Like it's just hard to kind of like come up with some bluffs there, right? I mean, it'd be pretty next level if she had Ace of Hearts and something, and then just decided to turn that into a bluff on the river. That'd be pretty sweet. Andrew R. points out, even when you know you're beat, that's a hard fold. Yep, we've all been there before, you know. You get a really good hand, it's hard to fold those. Nine high flop, two clubs out there. Open ended for Mike X with a backdoor diamond draw. Check. Check. Hello, usual suspect. That's Up. 
Oh. Well, luckily for Julie, she got rid of the ace 10. And unfortunately for Mike X, Lingland's got nothing. Tim Scott says, will you guys do lower stakes live? Monday's our smallest game right now. Started off 10-20, but it's basically a 10-20-40 game. I'm to you. You said you bet and, yeah. right? You bet what you, you win. Yeah, you bet you win. There you go. 90, 90%. I'm so on tail right now. But then I look at John. His face is so calm. He immediately calmed me down. <laughs> He's like, He's like John. I learned that from Andy. From who? Yeah. No, he's not calm. <laughs> you can see he's burning. Yeah, he's yeah, tilting. Every time I can't play a hand, he's tilted. Remember when Andy used to never talk? Yeah. yeah that's he does call him. Now he does. That's my brother. That's my brother. Probably 70 uh, percent more than he used to. Tilts? He tilts big guy, big guy, he never tilts. Big guy. How much is it? 800. Ling Ling, I feel you. I'm, I'm, I'm going on tilt also. You're going on tilt. I'm being yeah. on tilt. Do you tilt? You seem so calm too. Yeah, you look so calm, but yeah. you can see inside you're not that calm. Yeah. <laughs> Julie with a gut shot to Broadway. Got ten of diamonds as well. So to answer your question about playing smaller games, at the end of the day, we obviously want all of you happy. You know, the more viewers that we have, that's how we know if you guys like the show, right? So the more viewers we have, that's how you, so, you know, the Mr. Beast show, that was crushed, right? We just crushed. So we know, okay, you guys like that. You know, the show when you had JRB and Alan Keating, we know you like that. Check, check. I mean, part of what we're doing here is kind of trying to pull back the curtain so you can see what a like a home game, a private game would be playing like. Very chill, they're playing poker. But at the same time, obviously, from our point of view, we want you to enjoy it. We want you here. Have a nice. And I think more of you are going to be here with the bigger games. Um, I mean, I'd love to see some smaller <laughs> games, but it would have to be smaller games with some really, you know, some pretty cool personalities, my guess would be. To hand out the compliment. Yeah, exactly. I worked on my tilt. What's up, Error Eliminator? Thanks oh, for joining us. Okay, okay yeah. How about you, Stanley? I, I tilt a lot. Really? Yeah. I get tilted by the smallest. Stuff. And is it visible or is it just on. inside? Uh, so, uh, it's visible through my betting action, like through my punting. Oh, I get bored tilt. Yeah. Which is a you get bored? I relate to Yeah, that. bored and then I start tilting. Bored tilt. I hear, I know that well. I have to play hands. I've seen online players suffer that. You know, if you're used to playing 12 tables at one time, and then you sit down and play in like one game, it's got to be tough. The injustices of poker. Yeah. That, kind of, that kind of tilt. I had this. Yeah. Oh, you had it. Oh, I get that too. I'm just simply orange says Ryan DePaulo. Ryan is a mush. I would love to have Ryan on the show. He's a good dude. Sign me up. Frustrated by the not getting any cards to play, or getting him and now flopping. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes now. Twenty-two or something. Like this hand, the junk is cards. Can you check the camera? See how hard it is. I really have no idea. When you played that, when you poured out the drugs, I already was. But then, do I have four thousand? 
The World Poker Tour now has a real money online poker room, and it's called WPT Global. Play in cash games and tournaments for real money in over 50 countries on WPT Global. We'll even match your deposit up to 1200 That's right, 100% deposit match up to 1200 Sign up now at WPTGlobal.com slash YT and use bonus code YT81 before it's too late. WPT Global. $1,200 max. That's pretty good. I remember back in the day when online poker just started out. A bunch of guys. I mean, I did it too. Trying to build a bankroll and you'd go from like site to site and just get the bonuses. Get the bonuses and the rake back. If you could break even, you, you, were, you were just crushing the game. King high flop. Two diamonds out there. I remember talking to Alex Weiss about this way, way back. And he would, 20, he would play 24 tables at the same time. And I asked him straight out. I was like, did you beat the game? He's like, no. But his rake back deal was so good that he was just, he was, he was making a ton of money by just putting in volume. Take a look at our, uh, our big winner. It is Stanley Tang. He's been our most active player. He's been, he's put, putting himself out there. And he's up 25K. Mars is up 21K. Basically, our only two winners. Linglin, our most active player at the table, 61% BPIP. Johnny Bink says, Stanley looks homeless and like he doesn't shower. For a billionaire, he needs to get it together. See, here's the thing, Johnny, and I respect you, buddy, but that's the thing. He's a billionaire. He doesn't need to get it together. He can do whatever the fuck he wants. That's the whole point. When you're the boss, you don't need to dress well if you don't want to dress well. Better, way better, way better. Actually, raising hair, not just a button raised hand. Yeah, and water. Thanks. You got rid of games like you You guys played on Friday. Didn't do that crazy one or during it. What? <laughs> Three bet here from Lingland again. She just continues to push the envelope. Bob says I stopped ordering DoorDash because I don't want to stake him anymore. And don't worry, my wife's ordering for all of us. No, it's because I was trying to get a drink and then I realized, wait, why am I folding? No, it folded. It folded around to me. No, but I was just like totally not. Yeah, that, yeah, that yeah, looks stronger. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I have to be like 32,000. She couldn't be my ace anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Stu Gott says, yeah. 
It's like what Garrett said. It's harder to get out of bed when you can afford to stay in bed. Yeah. Ten high flop, two spades out there. I want to thank all of you for joining us. I will tell you, chat pros, got a bit of a, a, a smaller audience than we normally have. I genuinely appreciate all of you. Without you watching this show, we wouldn't have a show. And most of you, many of you have supported me my entire career. I've been doing this for a long time. And, and I can't tell you how happy that makes me and, and how appreciative I am. You know what Andy's appreciative of? He loves nines on the turn. Makes two pair. And Lindling now going to be in a tough spot. Pot size bet on the turn. She makes the call. Pot now 6,900. The ace doesn't really change much. I mean, I guess if your opponent had ace-x of spades, they have that. But if they had ace-10, they were they were already beating you. For Lingland that I'm talking about, obviously. I think Andy has to bet this. At this point, he's kind of hoping that Lingland had ace-x ace of spades. That's a nice laydown by Lingland. She's made a couple of good laydowns tonight. Francisco the Pro has been really quiet tonight. He's a monster. I think he's played one hand. <laughs> and wing. I'm not trying to, like, stir it up or anything. I'm just like, very quiet down there. He needs to come back to Earth. <laughs> Men are from Mars. So Dana Craven pointed out that Shotgun Willie is a Willie Nelson song. And I did not know that. Oh, I do now I want to kind of check it out. <laughs> I like Willie Nelson, but I'd be lying if I said that I was really familiar with his music. I mean, obviously, he's got kind of a undeniable voice. You know, when you hear it, you know it's Willie Nelson, but I'm definitely not like a fan. Hey, how'd you guys like watching DGAF on the stream last night? I know we lost a little bit of money. Good to see him, though, battling on a bigger game. I got a ton of respect for him. What he's been able to do in the commentary booth. If you guys are not subscribers to his podcast sessions, he does a great job there. Mars already had the best hand. Now he's got a straight to go along with it. And then, you know, for DJAF to kind of put his money where his mouth is and get on the tables. Says a lot about him as a person, so a lot of respect for him. Steve from Chicago says DJF was the nuts. Donkey Copter says DJF will crush next time. Yeah, no doubt. I have played thousands of hours of live poker in Southern California, and I will tell you genuinely, no bullshit, DGAF was one of the very few players that I was ever intimidated by at the table. He just had, he had a persona and, and an air about him, and he was just really, really good at knowing where he was at and not afraid to put his chips in the middle when he needed to. Speaking of putting your ships in the middle, Stanley's going to go for it. Don't think it's going to work against Mars, though. Mars has got a straight. Yeah. 
Thank you, Brian. Love you too, man. Ryan Beck says, yeah, DJF has that swag. No, yeah, no doubt. Just a really good poker player, honestly. Cool boy says there's lots of ass kissing going on. I'm just speaking the truth. There's the call from Mars. You're good. Stanley says you're good. Tripper barrel, which didn't work. Yeah. Sam? Oh, no. Mars? Mars did. So <sighs> I wake up yesterday he took and it off I today. saw. He says, I'm not going to wear that. I saw I bluff in the YouTube and everybody know. <laughs> it's bad. It's bad for reputation, huh? Advertising. Advertising. <laughs> it's part of your take, long take day. In, in, in that's in in, in, in your money. Yeah, it's an investment. Hey, it's it's an investment in future. Uh, the tough part was he had king queen who was sitting here, and Jr. had I ace bluffed. queen. And I bluffed it. Nothing, no board. But he called like, me with ace high. They didn't hit the board. It was and king high high versus ace yeah, high. Yeah, but he bets eighty k. But he bets. You're gonna get um, that if I'm back, back like uh, maybe forty k or something on the on the. On the river, mm -hmm. uh, and JR took his time and just called it with ace high. He's got a ring. Huh? He got some sort of. He has some sort of. Black he had, he on had him. King, yeah, I don't know what it was. It's just. So it was. Uh, it was one of those things that. It's not like JR had a monster hand, a really good hand. He had just ace high. He yeah. still called it. And won the pot. Were there missed draws and stuff or no? Yeah, there were there were some draws available, but. Uh, Three bet here from Andy with Queen Nine of Clubs. Mars calls. Mike X calls as well. Thirty-eight hundred in the pot. Ace high flop, two spades out there. Mars with a pair of sixes, has the best hand. Andy, the three better, is gonna try to rep this ace. Yeah, you can't troll for five bucks. If you wanna troll, you got to donate at least $100. Then troll away. You donate $100, you can say whatever you want. Straddle's up to $200, so this game is certainly uh, going now. Did, you, did it get and there? No. <laughs> like last Thursday. Not this he bluffed into the best time, probably. You <laughs> like 20, 30, right? So 5,100 of the $100 big blind ante, but now it's 5,100, 200. Yeah, I, I think it's 20, 24. Yeah. Like 32, 33. Size, <laughs> it's three barrel. A call. <laughs> I look 42. Okay. In that hand. Thank you. 
Big John with ace queen, as the ace of hearts as well. Stanley checks back and very quickly folds. Just no interest whatsoever. We could have bet 200 out of it. Well, we're trying to build it up, build it up until you fold it. <laughs> Adam Brown says Brad Owen is my favorite yeah, poker vlogger. Yeah. Brad Owen crushes. He's so good at what he does. I like Brad. I'm a big fan. Jason Finch says, Tuck, what's the longest live session you've ever played? Come on, keep going, going, going. Probably like 20 hours. Yeah. Andy, with me, you got to use the chocolates. <laughs> Not crazy long. It was in LA. Like I think I went to the casino at like noon. Probably longer than that. Probably closer to 24 hours. I probably went to the casino at like noon, played in the game, and then the game was so good I didn't want to get stuck in traffic on the way home. So then I played through probably till like 10 in the morning. So probably like 22 hours. Somewhere in that range. A lot of people have played longer than me. That's for sure. Lingland gonna call just under five thousand dollars in the pot. King still good. Oh, oh! Look at that. Andy checks back for a little bit of deception, and Lingland spikes her two outer. And this is really going to be interesting because Andy's hand is super underrepresented by checking back the flop. And he's going to probably think that he induced this raise. Especially on what is a super wet board. Two hearts, two clubs, straight draws. Got to raise this if you're Lingland. Wow. I don't think he's ever folding. Oh, Lingling. Let's get Lingling goats in there, guys. The too. The too. Well, I don't know. Okay. You have one more on the, on the rail. Oh. I, I just don't know how you check back flop. No, I count. I count. No, I thought I was, and now fold. Okay. I, yeah, I, 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 I if Andy can find this fold, he's a better man than me, that's for sure. He might be a better man than me anyway. Call yeah. well, once or twice. To you. <laughs> I, I prefer one split. I'll, I'll leave it up to you. Andy makes the call. All right, one time. One time. Yeah. One ain't one time. Andy needs a king. 48,000 in the pot. Oh! Oh, oh, that's gross. Oh, that is disgusting. Wow. I don't run good in this place. Chad is going insane. You, do you have some... Uh, yeah, I yeah, too. Yeah. Oh, how unlucky it is for Lingland. I mean, really unlucky for both players. Lingland spikes her two outer on the, on the turn, and that ends up costing her the entire, her entire stack, just about $24,000. And courtesy of that, Andy now up nearly 30,000. Mars, our big winner, up 38K. Langland and Mike X are down the most. But just two hours in. We've got four hours left tonight. A lot of poker left. Oh, man. 400. Thank you. 
And as chat pointed out, a king was dead. That was a one-outer for Andy Stacks. I actually put you what you had, so I should have uh, said uh, twice, because it's like, it doesn't matter. I also put you what you had. No way, you snap <laughs> on, you snap. No. That was a good trap. I trapped myself, actually. Big turn card here for Lingland. I mean, she's got a straight draw. She's got a flush draw now. She's going to raise it up and uh, in all likelihood win it. Sam Nathanson says, that was awesome. Probably not so awesome for Lingland, but. 600. 600, okay. 24. I want to thank all of you for joining us. Did you enjoy the show? Keep in mind, all of our shows, I mean, literally all of our shows, plus our videos, are available for free on our YouTube channel. Check them out at your leisure. All that we ask that you do is subscribe, tell your friends about it, tell your DoorDash delivery guy about it, and give us a thumbs up when you watch. We really do appreciate that. I know one guy that does that often, but I, know. I don't do that often. What's his name, Andy? I know, that same guy. <laughs> What's his name? I wish I, would, I wish I had that reputation. She always gets there. It's like. <laughs> I know. She always gets there. I'd love to be that person that everybody hated because they always get there. Mar still in the lead with a pair of nines. He does pick up a straight draw to go along with his pair. Don't imagine we'll see a river here. Thanks, Ryan. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's been a fun game, you know. How many of you are watching the U.S. Open? I think, is it the semis right now? I think the semis are going on right now. I'm not a huge tennis guy, but, you know, the majors, the U.S. Open, Wimbledon. I don't like the time thing. Really the match the other night was pretty insane. I was actually playing poker 
And I couldn't believe, I was like, wait, that show's not live, is it? Because it was like 11 p.m. here at Hustler, and I'm playing poker downstairs. And I look up at the TV, and I'm going, wait, it's live? It's 2 in the morning. It started with two time banks on Friday. It was last Friday. It became one very fast. It was last Friday. It was last Friday? Yeah. It was crazy. Whose idea was that? That was an insane tennis match, though. and I just said, like, we're joking about it, and we're like, why don't we just do that? Everybody did it? Everybody did it. Nobody used a time bank for, like, the first three hours. I would not agree to that. pretty crazy. The game was so fast. I would not agree to that. You don't agree to that? I mean, I, I'm not, I try and make a decision right up. Once she says 10 seconds, yeah. I'm like, if you, know seconds, if you know what you're going to do, do it. 600. If you think you know what you're going to do. 2600. Seven high flop, two hearts out there. Leyland's pissed. She's just going to earn herself some money. Oh, just want to. Julie with ace jack of hearts. She's going to raise 600. Again, we're playing 50, 100, 200. The straddle seems to be on more often than not now. And Lingland is just going to continue. She's just pounding on Julie. You ever sit at a poker table and you feel the person on your left is just abusing you? And it looks like she's at least considering a four bet here. She doesn't buy it. She's had enough. She's putting her foot down. Julie just calls. Pot now $5,600. Jack high flop, though. This is going to make it a lot easier for Julie. England checks it back. KG. Ace on the turn. It is three diamonds out there. Neither player with a diamond in their hand. And then a quick fold from Lingland. Three hundred. Hi. 
that. Lingland's just out here giving zero fuck. She's just like, let's go. Gloves are off. She's down 35K and she's just ready to battle. Mike X is gonna make the call. Mike X does hit his jack. Exactly what Lillian bet there. She bet an amount, but it's not up on the graphic yet. England's gonna let it go. No value there for Mike X. So glad I didn't call. If I run to another full house with my top pair, I would just kill myself. Or maybe I just throw up on the table. <laughs> Thanks, John. Yes. Uh, a fun night of poker here, Hustle Casino Live, brought to you by High Stakes Poker Productions. I'm David Tuckman. A little bit over two hours into our night, Julie is going to straddle, so we're playing 5100 200 now. Show you my hand. Let me know. What, what Yeah, you play on the GG poker? Yeah, I mean, it's not, not that often, but yeah. mostly just uh, tournaments. I just play tournaments on there. And then it's usually just paywall tournaments. Like, they just give me money to play on there, and then I just play and then I bust out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, only, I only play a couple times. Uh, the, uh, how much? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. 1,200. Yeah, yeah. If you have friends that want to play on there, oh. I can give them a good deal. Like, on it, like, good, good deal. Yeah, I can, you can join to your team. Yeah, yeah, you can sure, oh. sure, yeah. 
Has gotten very popular just about in about five years, four or five years in China. In Taiwan, yeah, yeah. yeah. in Asia in general, yeah. Because you went, that's why. <laughs> no, you definitely probably it. Me. <laughs> when I went in 2020, there were card rooms already, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Katie. Yeah. Francisca's girlfriend. <laughs> Poker is growing up everywhere, <laughs> even Mexico. Really? But by me, like. I love poker. Like how to play poker? Like ten years ago. Mm -hmm. Okay. But at that time, you know, China don't have uh, Facebook, YouTube. Yeah. All censored. Uh, yeah. And at that time, oh, they don't have too many. Stanley bets. Uh, with nothing, pretty much. Lingling Ling calls with top pair. We just play our style. Who <laughs> win? Check, check. Stanley gives up. He is drawing dead. <laughs> Players, they still play that way. They don't want. They don't care about learning. But but now you know a lot of you know uh, the websites teach you how to coaching you. Jr. in the chat. What's up, Jr.? Not too many Chinese though. One though, right? Not that many. I think. Jr. has been crushing as of late. They have a lot of poker vlog. Okay. Jr. played on Wednesday night. Made a great call against Mars with just ace high. Certainly the call of the night. Wait, what is it, Andy? You have your first uh, Oh, there's already students. Ling Lim, it's 5,000. Is Stanley thinking about making a move here? Obviously, he's not going to call with seven high. What is it? AndyPoker.com. You can't find it. Yeah, what is it? What is it? They're better than me. Yeah, it's like a training site. Teach me how to feed chicken. It's all Chinese, though. How to feed chicken. How to catch chicken. And it looks like Stanley is going to pull the trigger. Andy's site includes how to stack your chips. Now he checked back the turn. And he bet the river. It's almost like, I mean, pocket threes? Some sort of weird, like, king three suited type hands. What is going on here? Leyland's been in a, ta a ton of tough spots here. I mean, she's got, like, just a king here. No kicker at all. I'm trying to think, what is Stanley doing this with? Fun. That's when you got fun. 
Yeah, because I realized your fun off the table. It's just like you were scary on the table. I didn't know you. 10 seconds. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lingland in the tank, and she's going to let that one go. The bluff from Mr. DoorDash himself, Stanley Tang, gets it through. Bluff. He bluff. <laughs> Got about $300,000 on the table, and it's been a tough night for Lingland. She's got to be feeling like she's being attacked almost. She tried to like, she claimed she was like, she's trying to sue me or whatever. Oh, that girl? Yeah, she like, she dropped, she like, not only, like, I don't want to sue you. Yeah, this lady like, basically like, sent me a, a seven page draft, like, like asking for two million. And then like, I, I, uh, I hired the guy that, um, the, the lawyer that owned uh, my fossil. You know, like I hired that lawyer. He and like then, represents huh? everybody in poker. Yeah, 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 and like he's like bring it on, you know, and like, like she literally, huh? It was uh, the she, thing she, I said she, to she, Andy. She, nobody will she, ever. She basically, like this she basically stole money from me, and like she tried to claim that like I like did stuff she to her stole physically. Money from you, yeah, but she and she tried to get out of it by you. saying that I did stuff. Like I tried to take advantage, like you know the whole like female thing, he, female card. He loaned her yeah. money, but she didn't pay back. Yeah. And then she tried to me to it. She's trying to me to it basically. Oh, I hear the story. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you yeah. Andy, where, where do I apply for I two million dollars? I just told you. I know. <laughs> no, the funny part. Andy, can you give me a million and then I'll just say it's a me too. <laughs> yeah, let's just meet in the middle. <laughs> the funniest part is that she not only. Um, like when we said go ahead, like go ahead and sue, like go, like we're ready to accept service. Uh, she, they called back the next day to her lawyer and said, oh, can you just, um, can we just agree to not talk about each other publicly anymore? Like I'll, I'll, I'll drop the suit, you know? Like she went from like, give me two million dollars to, um, let's not talk about it. just let's just not talk about it. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> And then she deleted like everything she wrote about me and like, this is crazy. She was going through something, I think. It was brutal, dude. Like, yeah. Where is she now? She disappeared. She, can't, she, she got she mad because she, I she's she got barred from the walked bike. out of the room and I said, started saying she's wrong or whatever. I didn't talk shit about her. But yeah. then Andy was like, she's going to sue me. I'm like, anybody can sue anybody. In this country, you can sue anybody for anything. Yeah. It doesn't mean like the courts are going to waste their time with it. By the way, if it was that easy in poker, there's so many people talk shit about other people <laughs> on Twitter, publicly. For the record, if you want to talk about shit about me and you want to give me two million dollars, you can say whatever you want. It's very hurtful when people. Whatever you want, I'll even agree with you for two million dollars. Big John with Queens, Francisco. Limping in under the gun plus one. Jamie Kerstetter put a tweet out there. And I, for one, love the idea. Chat, I want to know what you guys think. Okay, so we got Max Payne Monday, right? Max Payne Monday. Needling, slow rolls, encouraged. You can only run it once because we want Max Payne. Well, Jamie Kerstetter put out a great idea on Twitter. She said, JR, I'm curious what you think. She came out and said, okay, if we, tr if we truly want Max Payne... No chop pots. If it's a, if it's a tie, when the river is dealt, you just keep dealing out cards until there's a winner. I love the idea. What do you guys think? No chop pots on Max Payne Monday. Just keep dealing until there's a winner. Mars, our big winner, up nearly 40k. Andy up 28,000. Stanley up 16,2. Ling Lin, our most active player by far. You check raise me. I didn't have much left. JR is on board. Yes, no chops. Put another board out there. Just keep putting boards out there until somebody wins, right? I like that. I hit it straight on the river. And I was trapping her in my mind. JR JR is in favor of a third board, but JR, what happens if it's like like kings versus kings or ace king versus ace king? I mean, we could go six boards and never get a winner, right? 
Oh, Francisco started with $100 bet? Uh, don't Wait, let it limp me, right? was the first limper? I was ready. Yeah, Francisco. So I think Jamie's idea was like ocean cards, yeah. Like you got the river and then you put an ocean out there. And then another ocean card until there is a winner. That's the last time, This must be, this must be a rig. Bump it up. 1500 Francisco is going to get busy here. Francisco, combo draw here. Six for the straight, a heart for the flush. Ling Lin with the ducks once again. And once again, she has a set with them. Last time it did not work out well for her. As Andy hit his one outer on the river. Don't know what Big John has, but he's thinking about it and he makes the call. 5,100 in the pot. Fatima says, Tuck, it's Max Payne, not torture. That's a good point. Big John with just top pair. He's drawing dead. Again, this is Jamie Kerstetter's idea. I'm on board with it. I kind of like it. Francisco has played it really tight. In fact, Lingland is in a hand with two of the tighter players at the table. And Big John is all in and he's drawing dead. All in and I call. How many times? Just one time. One time. If he wasn't behind that call, all right, let's go. I know it's one time. Don't do that. Don't do that. Francisco would have gotten there. Wow, again. So lost again. <laughs> Been good? <laughs> good. I know if you have big hands. They help us Jack Wow. You want to Yeah. Oh, he don't have a lot of money. I didn't know he don't have a lot of money. Oh, you would have hit the heart? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we're good. He didn't know. Uh, his bet wasn't even what she put out there. What? No. She put out 4K. Like... I thought he had more money. I didn't know no, he yeah, had only 4,000. Like like I think he's going to go yeah. all in and then she's going to race me. Um, I, don't know. Big John, how much? I didn't know he, had, he don't have a lot of money. That's not the way pro plays. You're right. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Hustler Casino Live brought to you by High Stakes Poker Productions. I want to thank our sponsor, WPT Global. Real money site now in over 50 countries. And they have a $1,200 matching bonus. So check that out. WPT Global. Thank you for voting. I told Lauren I'm on the show. I'm on the show. She saved me. I would have been gone. I took you to win a race. And you won a race me. 200. I didn't know he don't have no money. Queen high flop, two spades out there. Again, don't know what Big John has. Four hundred. Seem to be having a little bit of trouble with his sensors specifically. A seven hearts. A seven hearts. A seven hearts. A seven hearts. Yeah. 
Like down, spread them and <laughs> spread it and smack them. He says, <laughs> spread it. You spread it and yeah, smack them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> now it makes sense. What's that? No. Oh, they got it. I guess they knew I like Sprite. Yeah. Did you tell somebody that before? Oh. I asked for Sprite last time. Oh, there I you guess go. they brought it for me. She just on. remembers. Yeah. Oh. Are you auto shadow too? See that? He's auto shadow too. Oh. We, got four, we got four auto shadowers. Four. It's okay. Yeah. Tida is great. Do you sure. remember your drink for next yeah. time? Oh. I'm going Jason Finch says, what happened to whole cameras? Are they outdated? Yeah, they're way more labor intensive. So they have been replaced by RFID technology, which is normally pretty reliable, but if the sensors, if the cards are either broken or the sensors that are under the felt are somewhat glitchy, it can be frustrating. Bet. Go into yes. small one. Beans is trying to get JR to play on Ma Max Payne Monday. JR, you play on Max Payne Monday, I'll play that show too. I just want it on the light. Oh. Because it kind of messes up. With okay. The I was trying to be helpful. 800. Raised from Lingland, Francisco with ace 10, does call. I was bluffing with the best hand, though. If you're enjoying Hustler Casino Live, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends about it. Give us a thumbs up. We do appreciate it. I have been told it helps. Tell you, Ryan's getting soft. Ryan's actually letting me get a beer in the booth. Must be a holiday. But you guys don't put your names in the booth. And they buy Great, it. 1,000. <laughs> Anonymous. Anonymous book. We can write a book. How to lose a lot yeah. at poker yeah. in a few months. No. A lot of people buy it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Marge, you're back in? Yes. How to manage down swings. Is that a... Oh. Is that the button? The yeah. Okay. Yeah. Once again, JR is in the chat. If you guys have any questions for him, pretty cool dude. As long as you, uh, you're nice about it, I bet you he'll answer a few of your questions. Andy makes it 300. 
Stanley calls. Julie with the Ducks. She's going to make the call as well. Oh, it's, uh, it's 10 of diamonds, 9 of diamonds, something like that. 6 of diamonds. 6 of diamonds. Upside yeah. down. I saw it upside down. So yeah. it the Did you say 10 of hearts or 9 of diamonds? No, I said 10 of diamonds or 9 of diamonds. Oh. I saw it was like a, I thought it was a four, I thought it was a four side card with diamonds. A lot of hearts out there. Stanley with top pair, nobody with a heart in their hand. I know it's coming out. I can see the cards. PS3 Shake says, think I'll join you, Tuck. It's Friday night. Enjoy one, whether it's beer, whiskey. If you don't drink, I don't know, maybe get yourself an ice cream. Mars still pacing the field. He's up $39,300. Andy up $27,000. Mostly courtesy of that one outer. Where he hit a king on the river. Lingland down nearly $50,000. It has not been her night. TMPH says Lingland is David Tuckman's favorite player. I don't know about that. I don't know if I'm a favorite player. I like her. I think she's personable. I think she's charismatic. She's charming. I like Stanley Tang, too. I mean, I love how adventurous he is. Ruske was pretty cool. JR has kind of stepped out. I mean, he's a lot of fun to watch. I mean, there's a lot of... That's what makes Hustler Casino Live really good. I have seen a lot of other live streams out there that are reliant on one player. And I think maybe that's how this show started out a little bit. It felt like it was reliant on just one player. But as we've seen over the last year plus, just... We seem to get new, new amazing lineups each and every week. You know, whether it's Rampage, whether it's JR, whether it's Garrett, whether it's Wesley. I mean, how about Ben? Oh, sorry. Thank you. Magic in the box dealing. We're pretty lucky at Hustler Casino Live. We've got amazing dealers. Lauren and Magic are dealing tonight. Pocket Zeus says, how about Daniel Negrano? We haven't had Daniel on the show yet, but hopefully we'll get him on. I actually spoke to Daniel today. I'll be commentating on the World Series of Poker online series starting tomorrow night. They're all really late, so they don't conflict with our show here. But uh, if somehow you still want to hear my voice, I'll be covering those. Most of those final tables are at like midnight. But Daniel did a little something for our stream, so I had to meet with him today. But hopefully we'll get him on the show. That would be a lot of fun. I mean, at this point, I can't put anything past Ryan. I mean, Ninja, Mr. Beast, Paul Pierce, Alan Keating, Phil Helmuth. I mean, he is just, he is great at putting these lineups together. So, if you guys threw a name out there, he'd probably get them. I mean, we've had Phil Ivey, Tom Dwan. It's pretty crazy when you think about it. Anyway, 
Jack. Jacks are cheap. Nobody's got a jack, but Ling Ling does have a flush draw. Adam Mitchell says we should do a Survivor Week. Tyson Apostle, JRB, Garrett. We can get Boston Rob too, and Boston Rob's a poker player. Didn't Ronnie Barda? Wasn't he on uh, Survivor for like four minutes? Double barrel here from from Julian, can she fire one more time? If she does, the hand's over. She's gonna win it in all likelihood. This is a chop pop, by the way. Neither kicker plays. <laughs> if it goes that route. And it looks like Julia is gonna unload the clip. She is telling a story that she has got a jack. And while hearts missed, I mean, it's tough for Lingland to think Julie's got hearts because she has hearts. King, queen hit a king. Queen nine got there. Ten seconds. Lingland's thinking about it, though. By the way, Lingland has used all of her time chips. That's how difficult the first two and a half hours of tonight has been for her. And it's not like she's taken a long time. She's just uh, been kind of put in the blender over and over again. And I've run, I don't have any time bank anymore. <laughs> nice hand. Well played. Huh? Can I just use uh, the time bank? <laughs> I have no more time bank. What the hell? Put the time bank. Wow, what an amazing show from Lingland with no time banks left. She puts all her chips in the middle. Very nice hand. Nice <laughs> play. Thank you. It was very well played. I did not expect that to happen. I'm too tilted. Huh? I I'm know. I'm too on two. I probably to well, care. I should have even asked for a count. I mean, uh, yeah, I don't think you can call. You didn't even have a jack. So oh, I don't have a jack. So how can no. we get the uh, more time? Time back. Oh, you have to wait. I had it. I had it. I had it. I mean, I the four hours. Just couldn't. Four hours. Four hours. I was to Hour and twenty minutes left. Oh my God. Yeah, every four hours you get a replenishment of time chips. So, Lingland's on 30 seconds now. That's all she has. Vivek says Lingland is amazing. Yeah. So to the person out there who said thinks that I think Lingland is my favorite player, she's certainly one of them, and that's one of the reasons why. I mean, charismatic, charming, and really creative. Julie with Ace King on an Ace Seven Three Two Spade board. Don't know what Francisco has, but I like Julie's hand. Open up three thousand. Oh. 
Francisco raising here. Julie's not going to go anywhere, that's for sure. And now Julie's got top two. But that is the third spade out there, and that's certainly one of the hands Francisco could have. Could have done that with a spade draw. Could have done it with a set. Possibly a smaller two pair at this point. Or he could have just been making a move. Francisco does give it up on the turn. <laughs> I don't have ace. I know. Who's better, Julie or Francisco? Julie. He's a pro. Yeah. Julie. Julie the pro. <laughs> I literally haven't played poker in like four months. Are you on strike to bluff? I can see huh? it from there. Yeah. I, I, I'm like, like even if you have a flash, I'm still alive. I just like literally was like, I'll get it all in here if I have to. I don't have anything. You might have had a big spade and like, you know, paid there. Thank you. Considering the history these two have, this is awesome. What a setup. I mean, Lingland, Julie was trying to bluff Lingland. Lingland bluffs Julie. They talk about it. You can see that Julie is burning on it. And then fast forward three hands later, and Julie picks up Kings versus Lingland's ace queen suited. Oh, you couldn't script this any better. Heads up, round three. Okay. You heard him say it. Round three. Oh, hello. Is there any way this pot doesn't end up being $50,000? The nut flush draw with the ace versus two black kings. Pot is already fifteen and a half thousand dollars, four thousand over to Lingland. Remember, Lingland only has thirty seconds to act on her hands. I'm about uh, twenty-five, maybe. I don't know. She's got to act. There's the all-in. Julie's not folding. Can I get a count? Yeah. She covered? Yeah, yeah, put the four in. All right, the four. about 22, 23,000. I'm bringing four. I think she covered. Okay. She does not have you covered, Julie, but it's most of it. Yeah. Yeah, you can see the iPad next to Magic. That's how much time the players have unless they have... Time chips obviously are good, but Lingland's used all of hers. 20,000. And yes, for those of you wondering, 
And remembering, Andy would have flopped the set. Uh, poker's so hard. Yeah, she's getting two to one. This is the problem. I mean, you're getting two to one. I, I don't know how you fold this. No, she does make the call. It's a good call from Julie. Twice? Twice. And they're going to run it twice. Twice. You got the hair. Huh? And my hand? You have a pair? Yeah, I have a pair. Over pair. Over pair? You have a draw. Twice. They're gonna run this one twice. <coughs> Bink. Is that you? That's all her. One more club. Ah, I should have called. I called. And it hit, you need to hit a turn. It's, it's just you're not deep enough. Huh? Lingland looking for an ace or a I club. I, Otherwise, I they will chop this up. A it. nine would I chop it too. It twice. Yeah. By the way. But it is not a nine, it is not a club or an ace. It's a seven of diamonds, and they do chop that one up. No, I need a yellow. You want the yellow? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's why I told, I told It's so her. funny. I knew I blocked ace, king, and clubs. <sighs> I didn't want one more club as a turn cap. She had the ace of clubs, anyway. Andy, you know you have some yellows on the side, right? No, yeah, I know. I, I just want to buy them just because she's always, she's always like every other hand and she's at the game. I just, okay. Easier to count, you know, when she's always. Alright, both decks in? Yeah. Okay. Now you're going to have to be I'm happy to chop with her. Yeah. Girl power, girl power. <laughs> but I thought Andy looked like he was going to get in there. And Francisco, I'm like, you don't want to be in this hand? You don't want to be between the two ladies? <laughs> Getting your deck in there. Mars just quietly crushing. I'll tell you, I like Mars's game of $43,000. Stanley's up $10,000. He's been creative all night. Ling Lin, Big John, Mike X, all down five figures. That's yes. kind of a good spot for you to get Yes, yes. Same thing, though. Yeah, we run it out. Oh, no, maybe yeah. different. Yeah, yeah, I could have hit my ace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, because the, I, I'm going to uh, We don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah so, but it, it wouldn't be good for you. You want a head. Yeah, I was a head. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I told her in my hand. Yeah. That's the one we both had a plus Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was a head. Oh, I have seven yeah. I know. I thought that was a strong hold on my part. Today. How much did you have total? So after I all in, I made the 4K and then it was. We like had the same amount. About a little more, a little more. Oh, you covered me. Maybe four or five thousand more, right? Oh, much better. Something yeah, like four, ah, something like that. I have about 34, 35. Hustle Casino Live, brought to you by High Stakes Poker Productions. I am David Tuckman. Thank you so much for spending your Friday evening with us. No, it has been a tumultuous it. evening, to say the least. <laughs> Chips are flying, <laughs> lots of bluffs. Yeah, 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 Lingland's yeah, yeah. on tilt. I can't. I it's go been go fun. Up on my head. If yeah. I'm behind, I prefer to go once, but I can't know what you have. For those of you in the chat who hate running it more than once, join us on Mondays, yeah. Max Payne Monday, where you can only run it once. Needling, slow rolls are encouraged. The problem with the slow roll being encouraged, it's almost expected at this point. I had like two big hands back to back, so I thought, everybody thought I was just. I know, right? I thought you were on two. Trying to, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought of both Riri's, really you, pre-flow. Cool. I cool. wish you did. I mean, okay. I wanted to get a little. Riri, I couldn't fool you. It doesn't matter. It's yeah, the yeah. same outcome, I think. I, I wouldn't be committed. Oh, King high flop. Check. Pair of fives for Francisco. He's got the best hand. <laughs> It's not really the flop you want to see with kings, but at least I have the king of flop. Oh, you mean the last one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not this one. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about this in the middle of the hand. Miss Vicky May says, yet so many still slow roll wrong. Yeah, I mean, listen, the needling game. The game's almost too friendly. I phoned. I love the fact that they don't run it more than once. That's cool. But yeah, the slow rolls you couldn't be could nice. be better. Let's be honest. We will see tonight. I will see tonight when I go home and watch. 
Sean Deeb's slow roll game is very strong. But it's almost better when your opponents aren't expecting it, you know? That's the thing that's really cool about the show, and it's one of the reasons I really love it, is a lot of the players that play on the show come in the chat. I mean, a couple of nights ago, we had Alan Keating in the chat. Tonight, we got JR. We've had Israeli Ron. We've had Josh Macchiello, Nick Vertucci. They all come in the chat, which is really kind of cool. Julie, too. Big John, this weekend you didn't win Vegas, eh? What's that? This weekend you don't go Vegas. Last, you won last week. Yeah. The tournaments? Vegas, no, yeah. he always go on weekends. Oh. Do you drive? You're halfway You'll there. Yeah. I drive yeah. through Palmdale. Yeah. yeah. I go to eat. Uh, Mewtwo 50. 600. Hey, give my man Chad McVean a little bit of love in the chat. Chad is the, uh, Chad's great. He, Chad, without anybody asking him to do it, is the best promoter of poker podcasts out there. Follow him on Twitter. Does a really good job. And Chad, we certainly do appreciate you. Chicken wings. Have you ever had them? What's up, DJ Cam? Chicken wings? Yeah. They're fried. You just say you're trying not to eat fried? No, he said Like bread and pasta. Sugar. I try not to eat fried, so I eat fried chicken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My doctor told me he. You say I try not to eat fries, so I can eat fried chicken. So I just eat fish sticks. He said I try not to eat cars, so I eat fried chicken or something. <laughs> fried chicken. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, and then the chopped salad. Yeah, yeah from Ottawa. Yeah. That's right, to order some food. Yeah, I need to order too. You have to give up fried chicken or fries? Which one would you give up forever? Fried chicken. Fried chicken? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I love fries too. I, I love fries. So good, right? What's your favorite one? I like one? good fries. I don't like like a greasy fry that's like not good. I don't like a fast food fry. McDonald's Although, fries? Although, In-N-Out, I like their fries. I don't like McDonald's fries. You don't like McDonald's fries? It's too greasy. Check. Check is good. I literally was like, where's my little shorter stack? It disappeared. Poker Zeus What's Media says, Chuck, what was the last up? tournament you played? No, the main event. I played the World Series Poker main event. Didn't go well for me this year. Got knocked out late in day two. Favorite food. Played last November and cashed. I love Asian food. I could eat at every single meal. I could eat like sushi or Chinese food. Or orange chicken, right? <laughs> I don't even. <laughs> the problem with or orange chicken is usually like fried. Yeah, it's yeah. usually deep fried, but it's good too, though. Deep All fried with a sugary they orange really sauce. They put a lot of sugar on it. They put a lot yeah. of sugar. The, the coating is really, really bad. No, I like a more clean, like a chicken and broccoli or. Oh. I just love sushi, honestly. That's what I eat. Sushi? I love sushi. It's my favorite and I, food. And I have to pull back because, you know, it's too much mercury. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. Like, oh, my God. I could eat it every single meal. But isn't fish still healthier than beef? It's true. Three, four. And if you eat the salmon, you're okay, I guess. Okay. Not so much too Stanley much. with a pair of nines. Big John with a straight. I'm not a big advocate of playing the old Jack 7 offsuit, but it worked out pretty well for Big John here. I never liked it until I moved to California, though. Like, yeah, well, that's really we have the best Mexican food. Um, is there a new menu or is it the same? <laughs> is there a menu or is it the same? Well, I haven't been here in a long time, so. It's, it's the same. All right, cool. I'll take it. Oh, sometimes they. Oh, this could be trouble now. Stanley now with trip nines. Big John's not very deep. You never know. 1,600. 
Big John bet 1,600. I think Mike X probably needs to fold this paired board. You got the ass end of the straight draw. Stanley's behind you. If, if there are changes. Man, Stanley is going to raise all in. Stanley just loves doubling up Big John. Stanley needs the board to pair. Right. So or a three. six. Yeah. You, ready? Oh, okay. yeah, you only have nuts here. Huh? We're going we're gonna to chop. <laughs> <laughs> you can't chop. You're not chopping. You're not going to chop. <laughs> How are you chopping? Oh, I see. They're running it twice, so they probably will chop. No! Ouch! Sorry. They ran it twice. Stanley Tang says sorry, which... Poker etiquette, never say sorry, because you're not really sorry. But in this case, I actually believe that Stanley Tang really is sorry. That's crazy. Oh. He's losing both. Mike Stanley. Yeah, thanks. Oh, I'm go some JR asked a question. If you had to pick one, huge pots or a fun table? What do you guys think? Just type in huge or fun in the chat. Kind of do an impromptu poll here. It's funny that all of us, I had pocket seven, he had jack seven, he had nine, six, and then the board is what? 10, nine, eight, and then another nine. Nice hand, Stanley. I'm big blind, right? Yeah, Julia Trevor. Mars our big winner, Andy right behind him. Stanley up 11,700. Ling Lin, Big John, and Mike X each down in excess of $20,000. It feels like Julie's been getting beaten up. I mean, this is her first night back in a while, but she's been showing, she's, she's, she's done quite well. You know, sometimes when you're out of the game for a little while, it takes you a moment to get back into it. And she's up thirty six hundred dollars. I would know. I don't 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 know. Jack Hartman says, Tuckman's still unable to create pools. I'm, okay, I'm going to come out and say it. I'm not unable to create pools. I have no interest in doing it. I'd much rather just talk to you guys. Plus, I'm watching the game. I don't want to like get stuck kind of like doing tech stuff. I've got moderators in there. Somebody can do that, right? But 300 is live strap. One of the mods in there want to make a, a poll. Go ahead. Uh, I'm all for it. Good right now. It's posting the blinds. It'll be 100 to go. Okay. How much are you coming in for? 10. 10. It's just saying it's probably better. It's better value than scrum. Like that might be the one I need. All right. I'm going. I, here, I have the other one just in case you. Okay. I'm big blind then. You're first to act. You're nothing. nothing. You can get Thank the you. Oh. You're nothing. I know. <laughs> 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 Well, it's like when people go. Well played, Curtis. Curtis says, that's what a guy who couldn't okay. make create a poll would say. say well played. Well really played. Small, <laughs> <not> small <laughs> that's pretty funny. Jake yeah, says, I need Tuckman to tell me where Bitcoin is at the end of the year. Dude, I have no idea. Why would you ask me? We have like cryptocurrency experts on our show sometimes. Ask them. I don't know. Big John with top two. Ling Lin with top pair. 
<laughs> don't know what Stanley has on this two diamond board. I told you. I don't know what you have, so. He was value better. But did you see the hand, did you see the hand you folded? I had, I had full house. Jack three three? I had full house on you. Did Jack pack Jack? I had pocket nines. A few hands where? later, where you folded on my all in. I don't remember. Of the river. I don't remember. Check. It was queen, nine, something, and then a queen came. Oh, no, that was with Andy. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you had a pocket nine, too? I had a full house. What's up, Chris Starr? So you folded to my full house. He, she folded to my full house. Okay. And one time I have top pair, he has a set on me. <laughs> Big John just, like, just betting and betting and betting with two pair, even when the straight gets there. That's 2,000 on the river in Lingland. Just debating whether she wants to raise this or call, and she is going to raise to 8,300. It is all in for Big John the call. Funny thing is, funny thing is the, the times I don't have it or, you know, I want to do so I'm kind of just like, trying to keep one in the hand that I can have. Yeah, I should have. Like, so 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 can you pose it? It's like a big muffin and they'll just pop those stones. I mean, your Queen Deuce, for example, last night, right? I mean, the guy for six minutes, I mean, I think he lost three pounds just in that six minutes, torturing himself. A lot of calories. Yeah. Shotgun Willie and, and he loses that one. Turn, he made it not straight. His nickname is Greedy Grant, if, if that helps out. Very greedy. How many Bitcoin investors do we have in the chat? I'm actually curious. He moved from New York. You guys believers in uh, in crypto or not? <laughs> and, and he made it. Can I do it? Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah he made it. Can I have 245? I don't know. What's happening here? Yeah. Jeez. Where's the action yeah, start? Actually, it's going to start over here. Aiden Root Shuttle. Can I reach Shuttle? <laughs> <laughs> no. Hold on one second. Hold on. Right here. Oh, she's being watching. Ling Ling is first. Okay. Thank you. She folded. She was just Why? You didn't put me on this jet, huh? No, I didn't. Oh, I thought no. you have pocket nines, pocket yeah, tens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know. My instinct was just going in on the turn. Or a snap for the river. I wish I didn't have time bank that time. I was really That's right, JR. That's a great question for a poll. Hold on a second. Let me just set up a poll for you. Maybe you saved money. You something? There we go. You love action. I'm gonna set up a poll for you guys. You guys ready? Those are polls. Stupid. Don't disagree. There we go. Here's one. I figured it out, guys. Oh, Stanley. Everything's been going Mars's way. He flops top pair. But a seven on the river. And Mars wisely checks. I don't think he can get away from this. Diamonds missed. You've kind of induced this. But Stanley over bets the pot. Let's see if Mars can suss this one out. This is a tough spot for Mars. I mean, he's got one of the better hands he's going to have in this spot. Diamonds missed. You know Stanley Tang is capable of bluffing. 
I mean, he's basically saying, I got a seven or I got nothing. He's going to pay him off. Yeah, I, I, I think I'd probably pay him off, too. That's a tough spot. Really? Yeah, yeah. seven? Oh, wow. Oh, my God. I guess I sucked out. Wow. Can you slide up on That's why I thought you were bluffing. <laughs> you know, I'm like, oh, I folded a seven. There's yeah. no way. <laughs> he has a seven in his ass. <laughs> I got very lucky. One outer. Yeah, better. Better. I always say better be lucky than good. <laughs> Jack Hartman is like borderline patronizing me. It's like Tuck created his first pole. It's like when you have a kid. You're like, wow, my kid had his first poop. Well done. It's kind of what I feel like right now. Langland raising at the 400 days, Jack. Andy's going to call. You raised 200? Uh, no, she raised it four. I called. Oh, she raised before you called. It's, okay. Mike X with the suited ace as well. Going to make the call. Okay, JR, I see your question. I'll answer that in a second. Let me see what's happening here. We got a three bet from Mike X. I don't want to miss the action. Oh, a four bet from Lingland. I, I swear, she's just like... She just gives zero fuck. She's just like, I mean, listen, DGAF, DGAF, his name is don't give a fuck, right? But she is the true DGAF. I think, I think, I genuinely think we should call, we should call DGAF Billy for now on, because that's his name, and we should call Lingland DGAF. And yes, if you're wondering, yeah, I love her. Huge pot here. And there's a jack and two clubs. <laughs> I tell you, we've had some set up hands, right? Four bet pot, 10,000 in there already, and Lingland flops top pair. Mike with the nut flush draw. There's one, one brown chip. That's seven thousand, right? Do I see it right? Mike, just calling. 24,000 in the pot. Oh. And now Mike has got an open-ended straight draw to go along with the flush draw. Maybe he thinks his ace is good. We can tell you it's not. We use the term SPR for a stack to pot ratio and you can see Lingland's less than one. She does check, does Mike bet or does he realize his equity? Because you take the free card. I mean, Mike can get a hand like Ace King to fold. That's probably about it. And he's going to go for it. Mike goes all in for 18,200. Linglin has already folded once incorrectly to Mike X. Does she do it again? And she folds. Oh, I want to see a river. I want to. I want to bum hunt here. I want to see the river. Oh, sure. 
and Mike X. I, we didn't go to the river. Showing us how to get it done. <laughs> Huge draw for him. He shoves and gets no. Ace Jack to fold. Yeah. Strong play there from Mike X. Okay. So, JR, what did you ask me again? Let's hold on. I got to go back. Okay, JR says, who is your favorite player to watch, Tuck? No Switzerland BS answers. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, jeez. Oh, sling, sling in. How much is the race? 36. 36, okay, good. 26. I'm right, thinking. Stop call, bro. Enough. Oh, <laughs> can't take it anymore. What the hell? What is this? <laughs> Heavy. Yeah, it's insane. See, I am a horrible poker player. You know why? Because my first thought was, I had king queen. If I oh call and uh, if I call and and you know, no, I are you felt about you. Last hand when I, when I no, just right now. Oh, okay. I thought last I time you have to wait an hour to see what I had, but. Uh, because, you know, I don't want to tell you right now. I should have just gone away on the floor. I should have just gone away on the floor. Yeah, I would have, I run. Just, just so you know, I would have called. <laughs> would have got lucky? I would have got lucky. So if I, if I call 3,600 and I win, right, then uh, I feel bad. Like, no, no. I know, but it's like. No. It's just broken. You want the emotion part. I of know. It. That's Look, the part that it's just. 1,300. Don't worry. That's why this She's game is so fun. Though. Though. Don't worry. Okay, my favorite players to watch. I'm going to give you like three or four. <laughs> I genuinely like watching Phil Helmuth play. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. We got a three bet. And we got ace king. Lingland's got ace queen. Lingland just lost heaps. I was just going to play out. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. We're never going to get to my answer. Okay. And it's not even that interesting. I work on that because. I know. I was opening this thing, but hey, it's only 100 bucks I'm in, so. I feel like that when I play this. Langland does let it go despite being on tilt. How much are you playing, Francisco? 12 behind? Oh, uh, I have a. What a nightmare here for Francisco. What does Andy do? Does he just slow play it? Does he just go with it? I think. Thirteen, eight. Andy makes the call. Andy folded nines to Francisco's bets earlier on when he had sevens. So Andy certainly does respect Francisco's four bets. That said, I don't think Andy's going anywhere with kings. He checks here. Francisco checks it back. Board pairs, two clubs out there, two hearts out there. And he's going to check it one more time. And he's going to bet about 15,000? 17,5. I don't think Francisco's going to call this. And he's not calling your four bets light. He's going to have a real hand here. Just hard to imagine Andy having like ace jack in the spot. 
10 seconds. Okay, he's going to use time chips, and then he's going to fold. I'm going to go on a limb and say that. Okay, so I genuinely like watching Phil Helmuth because the guy is such an ass. I'm friends with Phil, but it's like, you just every time you watch Phil, you just know he's going to do something that's just ridiculously astonishing and awful. And I do enjoy that. I think it makes for great TV. Uh, Tom Dwan is always fun to watch. You know, another great one there. Um, you know, as for what we've seen on these shows, there's a lot of really amazing players on these shows. Um, but I'll go back to Garrett. I mean, I, I know I probably just sound like a homer and everything, but I, I love sometimes you see somebody calling with ace high, not afraid to bluff, not afraid to bluff 2x pot at times. As a poker player, I really enjoy watching somebody think about poker the way he does and not afraid right. to kind of carry through with what he wants to do. Are they going to make video about that? No. No call. But listen, I mean, I'll come out and say, I mean, Phil Helmuth's an ass. The guy's a complete ass. There's no doubt about it. And there are times where he is so in the wrong, it's ridiculous. And I'll call him out for it. I mean, when he was on our show with Mr. Beast, he was awful. I mean, it was atrocious. That said, it's like watching a car crash. Every time he plays, you never know. It feels like a car crash every time you watch him play. Well, Rhino Knife says, I'd rather stick a rusty fork in my eye than watch Helmuth Knit play 40 big blinds. Mm -hmm. I, that I can get behind. I, I get that. I will tell you that I'd rather watch Phil Helmuth play tournaments check, check. than a cash game. That's for sure. I agree with you there. And by the way, and when Ninja hit that 10 and just... On the, on the river? Yeah. Air hump the air. I could watch Ninja do anything. I could watch Ninja, like, commentate on grass. That dude is really entertaining. What's up here? Fonzo says Tony G is the best. Yeah, that's another great choice. Tony's awesome. I mean, as long as players don't tank... Like, there's only a handful of people that I just genuinely can't stand commentating on or watching, like Martin Cabrell. I'd rather stick a rusty fork in my eye than commentate on that guy. You know? Is it difficult to pick one? Oh, asking for recommendations? That was my second question. My first question is, do you have a difficult time picking one? Because, you know... Stephen Connor says, Tom Dwan, easily the most fun player to watch. I mean, Tom Dwan is just for my fanboy. You know, when I watched high stakes <laughs> poker back in the day, I just loved watching Tom Dwan. And, yeah. What is it? There's that mystique about, about Dwan that you still love. So I'm in apparel business, right? I yeah. design, manufacture. Dan Michael so says Alan Keating. Yeah, I mean, shopping for Alan clothing, Keating's right? great. I mean, he's so much I mean, fun, too. Have such a difficult yeah, but no, he asked me to be, he didn't yeah, want me to be Switzerland. Try. I didn't want to say everybody. So that. It's mostly because crappy quality. Oh, yeah. Like, there's something, especially higher brand names, like a simple T-shirt. It's like $250, right? Yeah. And I look at the stitching, and I look at the fabric quality. I'm oh, like, yeah. you think, oh, dude, this, this costs probably five bucks to make, you know? It's just, yeah. I'm going to talk over this table talk because, I don't know, he's talking about stitches and clothing. It can't be that interesting. Somebody brought up Howard Letterer. I'll tell you a true story. So way back in the day, I, I, I was commentating on the Full Tilt Million Dollar Cash Game. And Howard Letterer is literally one of the execs at Full Tilt. And there's a huge hand going on, and Howard Letterer is telling this inane story. And all we could think, the producers, the director, myself, all we're thinking is, Howard, shut the F up. Like, how does he not know? 
you're, you're paying for the brand, you're paying for the color, you're paying for the styling, you know. Elia Lezra, great shout out, Jason. A, a graphic t-shirt so many people buy. They, have no, they don't care about how the t-shirt performs. It's Big like, John all in, not for much here, but I mean, you're not getting two to one. You got to fold the king queen. Ned says, Keating, Garrett, same stream, make it happen. I'm sure it'll happen at some point. I think, I think that like you're maybe a better definition of <laughs> intentionally shitty. No, I think it's about really making clothes as cheap as possible so you can sell it as cheap as possible. Mm, okay. And, and there, you can imagine there's something fundamentally wrong with that concept because yeah. as cheap as possible is material and labor. Uh -huh. So you have to pay very little labor. So that affects down the supply chain. Yeah. Right? Same with material, right? Mm -hmm. So. Three bet here from Lingland. Francisco calling. Paul. Big John's in there. He's going to mix it up. So Mars might call also with all that action in there. Highest quality material because, you know, they want, like, there is a uh, retail store in Europe, right, that sells. Every day you walk in, tank tops for one euro, mm -hmm. t-shirts for two euro, yeah. and that's their price. Not a bad no flop for queen 10. Right. Two euros. Francisco's two pretty euros. happy with a set two of two nines. Yeah. So we got an open-ended straight draw for Lingland, a pair and a flush draw for Mars. Francisco with bottom set. So Francisco bets 2,500. Big John is gonna let it go, that's a good fold. Next act. Mars is gonna raise 10,000, that gets rid of Lingland's Jack 10. Francisco makes the call. He is in position on Mars. 26,000 in there. Bink. There it is. There's the flush. Francisco now needs the board to pair. And as we see, there are a couple of the queens are already dead. Mars now checks. Francisco might check this back. And yes, Mars does have the redraw to a straight flush. But he'll win this as long as the board doesn't pair. Call. There's the call. Francisco in bad shape. One time, Francisco needs a nine, a jack, a queen, or an ace. This is $104,000 in there. Queen is coming. Yeah. Probably not a queen. <laughs> It is the eight of diamonds. Shit. And Francisco has been felted. And Mar is just crushing the world. You know what? I want to keep a change. Okay. Let me see. I count. Oh, you can count. Give me, give me like 5,000. 5,000, you got it. Yeah. Okay. Nice hand, nice cash. 
Okay. I don't want to see no club, no club. Let's <laughs> come. Very good hand. Can I have a stock of purple? Um, you want one stock of purple? Yeah, please. Okay. I'm going to push you this. It's much yeah. more efficient. No, no, because it's from Francisco. Oh, yeah. This is from Francisco, Lauren. Yeah. <laughs> Francisco. Thank you, Francisco. I appreciate it. He does no, that every time. Uh, when uh, when he yeah. wins a pot against yeah. you, he always says, oh, this is, the money is from so-and-so. Do you want yellow or no, no yellow? No. Okay, Louis, behind you. Thank you. Yeah. Verde? Verde is cinco white. Uh, is it mine? Is it, it's not me. It would be zero. Oh, no, it's not. Three hundred. Please. Raise to one thousand. Three thousand. I'm doing this before. Nobody bluffs anymore. Everybody who you know shows their card have the nuts, basically. Mm -hmm. Probably Stanley uh, had the I, nuts. We just bet no, thousand dollars. I bluff like fifteen k in tomorrow's. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, did he call? And that's why I, 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 I give, give it a back. Take that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, you got it back. You yeah, had a set. We're even now. Yeah. We're even. Yeah. Yeah. Nice bet. I thought the exact same amount. 4K. Almost full, you know? No, here. I don't believe you. Yes. Just bluff me twice, you know? I, I, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so the next one is a bluff or value bluff? Because now I've done one bluff, one value. Yeah. So next next time, is what is it? Next time, I'm going to be bluff. <laughs> <laughs> so I should, go for, I should go for value then. So do you make your own clothes? Like what are yeah, you we your actually, own? one of the very... Like manufacturer? Yeah. We make this own is your, Yeah. This is your brand? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's called Be Green. Oh, oh nice. Where, do you, where is the fact? Where do you make it at? In here? It's 10 minutes away. 1300. Oh, wow. 1300. Yeah. It's, uh, cool. we're, we're becoming cool. like dinosaurs, like extinct. You know, we, we make our own fabric, yeah. we cut, we sew, we print. You um, picked like the most expensive place. Like, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. not only the US, but oh, California. Players. It is. And uh, it's worth we, it. we have, you know, we're in process of making some changes because it's just becoming almost impossible with labor costs here. Not just labor costs. There's Langland's deuce is still good, but Andy's going to be the aggressor here. Once again, you are watching Hustler Casino Live, brought to you by High Stakes Poker Productions. I want to thank our sponsor, WPT Global, and, of course, our players for putting themselves out there. And you for being here. Thanks for spending your Friday evening with us. Classic things. 
uh, Cotton Incorporated yeah. does this uh, surveys, right? They ask people, would you prefer Made in USA, you know, apparel? 85%, every time they ask, they say yes. Next question, would you, are you willing to pay 15% more, you know, buying Made in USA? Only 10, 12% say yes. So people like Made in USA, but they don't actually, they don't, but until they have to spend money. Until they have to pay extra for yeah. it, then, you know. And I understand, I sure. mean, it's, it's really, it's, uh, you know, I always use Costco as an example. Nobody plans going, uh, you know, plans to go shop in Costco for a apparel. But everybody always comes back with something. Yeah. And, and because the, probably the single biggest reason mm -hmm. of a shopping decision is convenience. Yeah. You're there, you're looking at something, right? You don't have to go an extra step, it's right there. Mm -hmm. And you happen to need it. And, and they make sure the prices are really valued. So sometimes. Ricky Kane, more. hello London, how are you? Like, oh, I, I miss the UK, I miss London. Gee, it's only $12.99. Let me buy four of them. Like, yeah. why can't I find a deal like that? Yeah. Well, Costco is one of the biggest apparel retailers yeah. oh, really? in the I believe that. I heard it's like, they're also like the biggest wine um, retail. The volume yeah. of uh, wine seller in uh, the US. Products they move like yeah. is, is mind boggling. I misplayed this hand. I forget that I just called. <laughs> Straddle pot raised to a thousand. There's a call. A lot of fours. Many, many, many fours. And I check. I have pocket fours. Mars could just bet this for value. I mean, Ace Jack is just the best hand here so often. Then you say you have pocket? Pocket fours. Oh, better than Quaz. And I, and I have Ace 4. Ace 4, yeah. <laughs> Kelly Shields, yes. Francisco is the gentleman uh, with many, three. many, <laughs> many <laughs> chickens. Four is full of aces for all of them. This is an exciting one. Chop it up three ways. I mean, Stanley is probably the only player here who has a four, in theory. But if he's trying to get somebody to have a chop, he probably should bet more. But I mean, I don't think he's trying to get people to have a chop. I think he's... You might get, you might get Mars to fold this, though. <laughs> No, I mean, it's either the case four. ace or the case four. I mean, <laughs> oh, whatever, oh. it's just as likely that all queen? three of them are chopping oh, that ace, one of them would have a four as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. yeah that was <laughs> the moment he called, I'm like, shit, maybe he played pocket queens and now I have a worse. <laughs> Uh, oh, sure. It was a waste of time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, just one outer. That's like I just, none of us can believe it. <laughs> For a second, I thought I'm going to go all in, right? To see how many of you call, but uh, then. 
I mean, you can, you are probably the most credible person to have claws with the way the hand plays. I messed it up by saying I have ace, ace, uh, ace four, uh, right? Yeah. And you said I have pocket fours. It was a nice mind, mind bender. Three bet here from Andy. Ling Ling with ace queen. She is going to four bet and take it down. That's what she meant. I see. Okay, I got you. Oh, yeah, I really thought it was the only one. I was about to help you. I'm like, come on, call. I should have raised. I really thought it was the only one. I should have raised. Yeah, if you raise, then you can have pocket queens. Because you grab the chips, yeah, but, and then but you, you know. your voice so I low. So I really thought it was the only one. I said, like, okay. I don't think you're okay. You get spot. I, I was thinking of raising. If you raise, <laughs> but nobody. Raise. But nobody yeah. If you raise, I might fold. Yeah. Yeah. Someone wants to take a selfie with me? <laughs> Is that the uh, the uh, the lady with a big smile? Oh, it's somebody. Else. The lady with a big smile. <laughs> Mars bumping up the six hundred dollars. Lingland's got a three bet with queens. This game has been action from the start. We're about three and a half hours into our six-hour show. We know one ace is dead. Mars is going to come along. Todd's got 4,400 in there. before he was pro. Andy, very, very pro. Andy, super pro. Retired, retired. 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 I was small blind. I was. He's blind blind. I mean, it usually oh. doesn't rain at, at this time. Oh. My hair is like this in the rain. Oh my God. You know, Chad if you put 50 here. more there, Chad then the Chad. whole thing becomes it's a shadow. Too late. Too late. Mike. Hmm? They don't talk about anybody else. Right now, right now, you get only $100 credit. Right? Yeah. But yeah. if you put 50 more, 300, yeah. you become the strap. Mar's going to bump it up once again. Loretti, 29, loves Lingland. I like to hear that. Oh, I saved fifty dollars that time. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you know what you're doing. I shouldn't even get involved. Okay, heads up. This is for our question. Oh, here. Already. Three bet from Stanley. A call. A lot of hearts out there. Neither player with a heart in their hand. Not even a red card to be found. Check, check. Check it good. I know, but so a double gutter for Stanley. Open ended. 
from Mars, and Stanley hits a pair of sixes. Yeah. I mean, I didn't have a chance for that, but the brightness, I'm so sensitive to What do you say you are? A professional block. <laughs> professional blocker? Is that a professional block or a professional <laughs> value? Mars bluffing at it. See if Stanley can figure this one out. He said he was a professional blocker. <laughs> you broke his heart. <laughs> and and a collection? Okay. <laughs> Every time you lose the pod, immediately they ask, hey, 245 collection right after it. It's like a, taking the knife out and then just putting it back in. You, you know your sound is off, right? Okay. As long as you <laughs> on. Nice call from Tang. He wins that with a pair of sixes. Francisco just calls at the Ace King. Stanley calls. Big John with Queen Jack. Going to just call. Hello, Poker Yogi. How are you, Shannon B? Thanks for joining us on a Friday evening. Mike X gets out of the way. Julie's going to call. Julie's in really bad shape. Okay. As she has dominated in diamonds. And you can see that Big John has also dominated in spades. Six ways. Six players. I'll tell you right after the hand was. Julie's first. Set. All those pretty hands, and it is Mars who has the best of it right now, the pair of sixes. Francisco bets 3,200 into a pot of just about 5,000. Mars only has to worry about one player behind, and he's going to let it go. And Francisco did not play the hand aggressively pre-flop, but it looks like his bet here is going to work. A pretty crazy game, to be honest. Ace high flop, two hearts out there. Check, check. Ling Lin with the best of it. Check around.
couple hours left in tonight's show. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. I think it's been a fun one. I'm not going to lie. I was a tiny bit disappointed when I walked in the booth and I realized Garrett wasn't playing. But it has been a really fun show. Tons of huge bluffs. A couple of good calls. So a raise from Stanley. Lingland three bets. Stanley very quickly calls. Pair fours for Stanley plus a backdoor spade draw. An interesting way for Lingland to play this hand. And how much do you have behind? Uh, no chocolate? Just very unlikely for this to be a bluff when she puts half of her stack in there. I think Stanley thought the same thing and let it go. Funny thing is that she just bet the flop. She gets paid. And then depending on what the turn comes off, she, maybe she gets paid the whole way. Those, those are uh, actually, some of them are much deeper friendships, relationships, right? Because... Eight hundred. Mike X picks up ace-king. It's gonna bump it up to 800. Julie with king-queen. It's gonna call. Don't believe they're playing the seven-deuce game. So Mars lets his seven-deuce go. Somewhere in the world, Ruske is crying right now. Stanley's got ace jack. Could see a three bet, and that's exactly what we do see.
10 seconds. Mike X does have time chips, so not a problem. He's just going to call. Julie gets out of the way, heads up here in all likelihood. No, Mike X four bets, pardon me. And a quick fold from Stanley. Aggressive, strong play from Mike X. Honor Ali talking about that pocket queens versus the king forehands. Says, maybe not good for the win rate, but there's something to be said for completely shutting out Stan's equity. Absolutely. No doubt about it. If a king or a four hit the turn, she's going to hate life. So he certainly had equity, and you deny that. Just whether I'm priced in or not. Well, this is what I would do. I would snap call and just muck it right away. And don't even uh, don't even put it out there. Don't even turn them over. That's a good idea. <laughs> That's a good idea, but he ain't gonna muck if he calls. Right. How many times? Two. Oh, twice. Twice. Okay, twice. twice? This time I, I don't. This time I, I have a bat. Uh, yeah. Right. This time Let's go. I don't want to lose uh, Two times. I have, a, I have a really bad. Well, mine ain't bad, that yeah. great. Show we can sweat it. I mean, it's not like oh, yummy, yeah, I mean, dominated. Yeah, but you hit some of that, right? No, I did not. Straight draw. Looking for a six or a four. Nope. King Jack, good in the first one. They're going to run it twice, are they? Big John has only won like three hands all night. They've all been against Stanley Tang. Jack still plays, by the way. They have some chop outs, though. Like a six. Yeah. 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 Um, Big John's gonna win it all. Uh, John wins four oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Monster. It's his turn to win two. He won two. Yeah. He won two. Just his rule was the bigger one though. Fun. Thanks for action, man. You yeah, didn't have no. four. Yeah, I, I I always give action. I don't know if I really wanted to. I don't know if I wanted the way I'm running, but. Uh, <laughs> I was like, he's gonna say, I have a really bad one. I mean, there's one person I, oh, I, I, I want to give chess back to will be you. Nice. 
Two hours left in tonight's show. Looks like a couple of players right from the table. Magic dealing there. Just moments after Stanley Tang doubled up Big John, or as I like to call him, Shotgun Willie. King High flop, two clubs out there. I don't have any I don't have any hands to check because mine came to Stanley the preflop razor decides not to bet it. Well she was failing targeted in situations. I mean she made such a good fold against me that she thought I was like exploiting her so Mars has got a pair of fours. Big John's got the best hand with sixes. See if Stanley wants to put a delayed seabed out there. She's so funny. like a great personality. Mars bets 2,000 into four. Jack Cartman says, Tuck, we want you on the show. Sell us a piece. If I plan the show, well, actually, when I plan the show, I will definitely sell pieces on State Kings. I know a lot of people do that. And I will uh, I'll sell a little bit of my action at no markup whatsoever on State Kings for sure. 100%. Horse Trader says, I don't believe Mars knows how to snowboard. Yeah, like Ooh. Controversial. Maybe. Does Mars know how to snowboard or not? She's a good tournament player. Thank you, Time Traveler Poker. Appreciate that. When I play it, will almost 100. It'll almost definitely be on a Max Payne Monday. I am not rolled for any of the other games. Yeah, Kitty Wynn says, uh, can you ask Garrett when he is, when, when G-Man is selling his action? Yeah, good luck with that. I get, <clears throat> I get big cards and it's all small flops. <laughs> uh, it was my side. It was good for my <laughs> I wasn't even going to buy Thank you, Dustin G. Conzo says, uh, Zach, tell us when your salsa dancing masterclass will be released. I don't know how to salsa dance, but I have. I have been tango dancing at four in the morning in Germany. No joke. That was a fun oh, night. The hands. Later? No, Three bet here from Julie. No, I went to the bathroom. No flop. Yeah, I went to the bathroom. Oh. Yeah, grab that corner. I just saw Wang here. Yeah, just saw Wang here. Is it okay? Can it can be washed or no? I don't know. No. <laughs> oh, really? It's shitty. Oh, no, I didn't know that. I really didn't know that. Oh, did you imagine if everybody do that? 
Oh, okay. I really didn't know. You are yeah, serious. He's yeah. 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 messing with you. Uh, of course, I don't you know. can watch. Huh? Is it you or no? No, no. no. He's, jo it. he's joking with you. Uh, no, but he's not like right? for the you're game. Huh? You're no, buying she's it? a big one. So small, big. Oh. He's telling her, going to watch this stream. No, I was cheating. You know, every time I go to the bathroom, I bring the phone. Because I have tests, too. Yeah. I don't know if it's true or not, because I have not, I don't play no. as much as you guys. What, once they show it, they show it the whole world knows. Yeah, yeah. No, I just watch. I want to no like like your hand. I want to yeah. see what it is. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he's, he's, he's just kidding. I don't know. No, I don't only know. Only in, in a fair. Then lock it. Then lock it. Come on, lock it. Imagine if everybody still is doing that. In a fair, right? I didn't watch any other, only the hand that uh, I played. Not all of those. Last one I didn't watch any, I was just watching my show. Every time, every time I go to the bathroom, I make a stop right at that screen. Oh, really? She get her phone and went down. So? And then yeah. watching the phone. What's the problem? They're showing it on screen also. Oh. Huh? They're showing it on the screen right here. Yeah, but the phone you can go back, go fair. No, I mean, you can, there's always one hour delay, and today is hour and a half, two hours delay. Okay. Yeah. So, the latest hand you see is from an hour okay. and a half, two hours All before. Right. Check, check. Legland was already ahead with their four on the flop. Makes trips on the turn, fills up on the river, bets 2,000. Julie can't beat the board. So she'd be calling 2,000 the chop. So she's calling 2,000 to win like 1,250. That's the way she's got to look at it. So, so Wesley watch you all the time. I didn't know. Just... Uh, yeah, if you don't have, if you don't have ten or four, probably chop it. Yeah. Oh, she's On your training side, what are you? What? Are, how are you teaching? I'm not the one running it. <laughs> Other people teaching do. Teaching people not using silver. It's just my name. Do you want it? That's all. Three hundred. Playing fifty, one hundred with a one hundred dollar big blind ante. No straddle on this one, so we get a raise from Julie. Fifteen hundred. Mars three bets. Good news from Mars. Julie missed. Continuation bet from him. Likely gets the job done. We'll see how sticky Julie is. I just like, feel like whoa, anything whoa. Francisco says is just funny. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why I was laughing. He can say anything. It's just funny. Uh, <laughs> it's just funny. Uh, <laughs> was they were saying when you were out of the room, um, everybody was saying how much they liked you and what a good personality you know, Francisco said that. Um, yeah. I know, I'm not mad at him, but I really don't know if it was. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Because he said, well, that's shitty. You can't watch it. I said, well, I really don't. Look, the moment, the moment the thing is aired, it's public knowledge. Yeah. yeah. Right? Well, I, because I, did, I didn't need to go to the bathroom, so no, I just doesn't, bring no, my I'm phone. Just, no, I, I'm just talking in general. I, I watched over there, too. I wanted to see what's going on. Yeah, just... 
when I was reading. But I, I, I usually read the comments. You know, you like that. You one of the best person you ever met. You said you one of the best poker you ever met. One of the best. But I, but I was, I was also just talking about her general disposition. <laughs> Stanley, you have me so confused. I have no idea, like, what's going on in this hand. Fourth heart on the river is going on. Stanley makes the nuts. Mike's got the ten of hearts. Okay, donation. Donation for sure. Stanley shows him the goods. I gotta go with my instinct. <laughs> <laughs> I had the best time on Tilted River. Yeah, I believe it probably. Yeah. And I had a 10 high flush on top of that. Oh, really? I'll right. have to call. Yeah. So. I was bluffing and then I got there. Yeah. yeah. No, 10 high flush, you have to, you have to call. <laughs> Straddle is on. Sometimes people's um, on. social media is a little intense for my taste, so, you know, okay. I mute it, but. I'm not saying I did that with her. I'm just saying, I don't know if I said that. I don't like social media. I don't have it. I like just occasional posts oh, with something to say. Mm -hmm. cool. Oh, yeah, I know what it was. I know what he's talking about. That's one up. 2,500. Wow. I'm filthy. After this big hand, I was still. All right. Oh, no yeah, I was gonna why, call. Why is you say nothing? I was gonna call you in my factory also, and then you you said. She was gonna call you, and then you said, "I'm too." Yeah. And she said, no. Please call me. Oh. Based on my two. It's nice. But it could be like a ninja, like reverse, reverse. No, he's not that deep a level. <laughs> Three bet from Francisco thing. gets through. This, thing, this means they're either really strong or really weak. <laughs> right. How can you judge? Oh. I haven't done that all day. Just that? Just hundred dollars. Keep them guessing. Mm, it's gonna get him. Uh, it's gonna get attacked. That's for sure. Mike X does limp in. Cool. Mars raises. Lingling calls, and he's got ace king. Twenty one hundred. It's <laughs> a good question, Nathan Joyce. What is everyone's favorite ice cream? Three bet to twenty one hundred. These guys are deep. Both players six figures deep. Much more interesting with both players missing than an ace or a king coming off. Well, Mars is going to bet half the pot. Andy, not a believer, is going to call. Pot now just over $10,000. Wow, what a river. Who turns the race king into a bluff here? I mean, you can't beat anything with ace king.
7,200. Andy bets 7,200. Battle of the Ace Kings. And Andy Stacks wins that one. Despite that hand, Mars still our big winner up $71,000. Andy up $41,000 and change. Lingland, our most active player at the table. Mars open-ended straight flush draw. Sorry, open-ended. Well, I guess he has 60% of the of the straight flush draw, but he is open-ended. Sorry, with a backdoor flush draw. Pocket threes are technically still the best hands. JR says, "Sounds like Nikki Airball in the background." Almost definitely the case. Wow, what a turn card. Mars now picks up a flush draw to go along with the straight draw. Pocket threes counterfeited. Francisco is actually going to bet this now. He has the best hand. Now, I've seen Mars raise in these situations before. But he is not going to do it here. I saw a lot of ice creams in the chat, by the way. I think my favorite of the ones that were uh, mentioned gets a shout out. Let's see what it was. Yep, Zeke. French vanilla with hot espresso poured on top. Yeah, sign me up for that. That sounds delicious. Stanley, the preflop raiser, decided to check back with a pair in the nut flush draw. He turns the nuts. Mars bluffs. And he's going to fire again. Stanley playing his hand to perfection, making the absolute maximum.
Here's the raise, and I imagine a quick fold from Mars. Smile. It's a hard word. Professional bluff again. You got me every time. <laughs> <laughs> Drink some water and come back. Three ways in the flop. Jack high flop. Rainbow board. Ling Lin with top two. Mars with top pair. Andy gets out of the way, heads up between the Battle of the Jacks. Ling Lin way ahead right now. Lingling betting 2,000 into 2,400. At this point, Mars can only beat a bluff, and he's he's a believer. He lets it go. Once again, you are watching Hustler Casino Live. We're here Monday through Fridays, 5 p.m. Pacific time. Monday through Thursday, most of our shows, I should say. Start at five. Start at five and go to 10 p.m. The Friday show goes six hours. And our next show on Monday will be Max Payne Monday. Degaf, Margo, Sashimi, Beans. Join us Monday, September 12th. Always a good time on Max Payne Monday. Next one, just save time. <laughs> Thank you. You don't pay half. Huh? Okay, Louis. For next one. I have the job here. I can't start flatting when you do that. Yeah, you gotta clap me. Oh, let me. Let me, let me bluff it off. I just figured you might usually like to like four back there. <laughs> Another opportunity. Raise from Stanley. Julie makes the call. Ling Ling calls. Andy calls. All the suits are covered here. Look at this. Clubs, spades, diamonds, and hearts. Stanley with a flush draw. Andy with top and bottom pair. Lingland with top pair. And 
And this will be interesting. Stanley is starting this hand with about $88,000. Andy has him covered. You got top and bottom pair versus the flush draw. Andy makes the call. Pot now 8,300. Stanley now with a pair of queens to go along with the flush draw. Now that he has showdown value, he might check this back. But he does check it back. Andy's 10-6 holds up. $800 bet from Andy. $5,800. Stanley getting about two and a half to one to make this call. King 10 makes a lot of sense. Adding one minute. You want to talk to me, Andy? You're usually pretty talkative. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you, Sammy. What, what, what do you want? <laughs> I, mean, I can't. I can't do the stone face. Uh, I'm just I, I wasn't expecting <laughs> you to answer me. Now I don't know I'll what to ask to you. I'll talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have? Uh, I have a. I have a. I mean. Two cards. Yeah, I got two cards. <laughs> I mean, what do, what you do you just, have? You just flop seven nine. Or something? What do you have? I have, I have one pair. One pair? Is that good? Which which? Like, it's not aces, is it? <laughs> aces? I mean, I, I have to like dream to get aces. <laughs> uh, is aces good? You lose to a lot of hands if you have one pair. You lose to a lot of hands. I know. Right? Is aces ten good? I, I I could just have like. Adding I mean, I think have, 10 makes a lot of sense. I could have any combo of the diamonds that made two pair, right? Like queen eight diamonds, king eight of diamonds, right? Like. Save it for your site. Huh? Your training site. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I could have jack nine, seven jack, nine. Oh, I didn't see jack nine. You beat, follows, you, beat, <laughs> you beat five seven, you beat miss diamonds. Uh, I could just have a king, right? <laughs> we don't have a king. You know, I mean, it's I weird a way to play king. <laughs> I, mean, I guess you just have, I mean, you got jack nine. I guess you could have, I mean, you got sets and everything, I know. I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm not even like including that because I don't, it's like, that's like so, that's so far up. <laughs> uh, I, 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 Adding one what? minute. What's going on? Is it because those are free or what? <laughs> I mean, it's just like are I, you sure you're not gonna play big part after this? I can't think of any bluffs or value, that's the problem. Besides like really, really good value. I mean you don't just bet 58 with a 10. That's like weird. Yeah, I, pr I probably don't have like 10, 9, or 7, 8, right? I probably never have those. Right? It's either two pair, or like I have a straight, or I have missed diamonds. Yeah, but the problem is I got two diamonds. You're, you're, oh, okay. And I pair plus. <laughs> well, what does the book say if you're blocking the diamonds? <laughs> I mean, you say you don't do solvers, so I have to do whatever the non solver thing says. Is this a training session? <laughs> I feel like I, I it's a training class for the 10 seconds. <laughs> I'm just trying to think. Regardless of the outcome of this hand, I'm happy that you're using all your time chips on this one. <laughs> so later on, I can put some pressure. <laughs> I, I, 
can't think of anything. You, you, so you must have 8x of diamonds then, if you have diamonds, right? So I can't, if I can't have 8x of diamonds, then yeah, you're right. I don't, there's not many bluffs, right? I don't have an 8. Oh, you, you don't have the 8 of diamonds? Oh, I thought you had 8. So, can, can you even name one bluff for me? That I, can I don't think there's, no, there's not many bluffs, you're right. Especially if you have diamonds in your hand. <laughs> He's going to pay him off, though, watch. Andy literally told him there are no bluffs, and he's still going to pay him off, watch. Sometimes you got to pay. 10-6. Ten, six. Ten, six. I love that. I've never seen Andy talk so much. I just, you know, hearing <laughs> hands. Like, <laughs> 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 that was probably the first ever. That's the best. Andy saw him about the phone. He talked to me. He said, "Definitely, like, okay, let me talk to you too, Paul." <laughs> That seemed like such a silly use of all those time chips, but there was something about the hand that I really enjoyed. You don't usually get Andy to talk that much, especially during a hand, so I found that fascinating. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. You gotta love it when Andy was like, "Oh, you have diamonds." Then I, I, I don't. There really aren't that many bluffs. Actually, I just bet turn bet river. Yeah. No, yeah. It's hard to do that. Yeah. I, I bet I call the turn obviously. The spades. Actually, I might just, I might just call, call down, like. Uh, unless you, I would have gone. Oh, you you would have gone big? Yeah, no okay. <laughs> yeah. Probably full on But then I had too much value. <laughs> 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 I had to yeah. Yeah, it was too good. <laughs> too good to get the over and over and What I kind of love about it is, I mean, you can see how much, obviously the money doesn't mean anything to Stanley Tang. But you can see how competitive he is that he genuinely wants to just win, you know? And in poker, the scoreboard is, you know, how much money you win or lose. Julie's eights look to still be good, and they are. Lingland does have a flush draw, though. Mike X with two pair, threes and deuces. Clayton Bigs pieces. I didn't even know Andy could talk. So Lingwin raising, Sorry. Julie going nowhere, and this is, uh, I want to say, round four between these two. Julie's eights still best. I mean, Julie's not, I'm sorry, Lingland's not really repping much here. Like, I mean, she's telling the story that she's got a three, right? But how many threes does she have, really? I mean, I think you're getting a good price. I don't think you can fold eights here. She does make the call. Pot now just under sixteen thousand dollars. Oh, 
And I think if Lindley wants to win this one, she's going to have to overbet the pot, but she has given up. And Julie's going to win this. Nicely done, Kelly Shields. No flop necessary for Stanley Tang to take that one down. Oh, uh, Andy, I should fold it. I don't know why I called. I, even though I couldn't name it. Curiosity, any right? I couldn't name any bluff and I have two diamonds. It's like. It stayed an hour. I didn't want to wait for later. Uh, curiosity. It was just like the pot was just, it was just too small. Yeah, yeah. If it was like 50K, it was like 50K. Which pair did you have? Queen. Queen? Yeah. So you only lose the king, right? If you have a five, yeah, but you don't have. Like, was there a queen on the board? There's a queen, right? Yeah, queen and a king. Okay, queen and king. Yeah. On the turn, I was like, I was like, I had so many outs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six hundred. Six hundred. Cool. I mean, the book also says sometimes you just gotta call. Sometimes you gotta call, yeah. Mine's the book is wrong. <laughs> yeah. Just ask, what would Francisco do? That's, that's how you. That's what, that's what do. Francisco with a flush draw, Stanley with the ace. And Francisco gets there. Not much has gone his way today, but he'll win this one. Unfortunately for him, it's a pretty small pot. A lot, a lot in things game would be fine with the France, but or with Francisco, no. you know, yeah. on things like, what does Francisco think is the best player on the table? Like, how, how you Flush? Yeah, what you get there? Wow. Nice hands. That's a pro move. Pro move. Yeah. But I didn't make the best move and the big hand. This doesn't make any difference. You would have called no matter what. Thank you. So if you make big, bad, he don't call. Oh, no, on the turn, I'm saying no, I guess it's just now. Yeah, I guess it's him. Oh, our hair? Yeah, yeah, I, I, was, I, I, I bet the turn you're going to call. Oh, yeah, yeah, on the turn, yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. I don't call right now. Big John picks up ace, queen suited. A lot of players are three betting this hand. Let's see if Big John does that. Big John's only got $4,700 behind, so. I mean, I just don't know if he's got much room for. Yeah, he just puts in half of his stack. Do you know Big John is very famous in Pondell? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mike X wants to gamble. Like a Batman. He's gonna yeah. call. Is, is it the Big John movie? Hey, Big John. <laughs> Okay. I I know know once I, I, once so. I, I was with him. Wow, well, and Lingland's going to call with Jack 10 off suit. I, was with him I mean, Big John has literally put half the stack in the pot. Next year, maybe he's going to be the major. I mean, this is where if you're Big John, you cannot fold. You've got to just go with it. Somebody has you, they have you, but. 
You can't fold for 2300. Lingland has picked up a gut shot, by the way. Big John is going to check it again. Does anybody want to bluff at it, or are they going to let Big John win it with ace high? Yourself a pot. I didn't catch that. Five-year-old kids know what? What did he say? Chat, help me out there. I missed that. Five-year-old kids, what do they know? Seven high flop. Don't know what Stanley has. We can see Francisco's got ace high. Let's see. What do five-year-olds know? Five-year-olds know Big John. Five-year-olds know how to how to behave better than Phil Helmuth. I have a five-year-old. And I think my five-year-old and Phil Helmuth act very similar at moments. Because we saw four seven. <laughs> that can't be right. <laughs> four seven. The girlfriend of that tennis player, the Alcaraz, is so beautiful. The Spanish player. About a little bit over an hour in tonight's show. Mars still up 60K. Andy up 51,000. Stanley up 28,500. Julie and Mike X each up. Sorry, Julie up five figures. 
Mike, Big John, Lingland, and Francisco each down five figures. So for a game that didn't seem very big, we have four players who are down five figures. And four up five figures. It's barely worth 50 bucks. I called already 100, so. Seven high flop here, seven four three. Does the one outer that Andy hit, that king, does that catapult him onto a nice little uh, little heater? He's already up fifty thousand tonight. England bets 3,000. Andy not a believer. He makes the call. River pairs the board. Andy's definitely in the zone tonight. You can kind of tell. I mean, obviously, he got lucky with the Kings, but, I mean, he has to call off there. So he got really unlucky that, our, that his opponent actually hit a set. And he does check it back, and he's going to win that with ace high. Julie back in the game. Good to see her. She's up five figures as well. Thank you. Five Raise from Mike X. Five way action. Not exactly the flop you're looking for when you raise with ace deuce of hearts. Mars with a pair of jacks and a straight draw. Way ahead of the field. Friday night here at the Hustler, it's loud. Pretty much every table in use. Mike X is gonna bet $2,000. And Mars folds, so maybe not a great flop for uh, Ace Deuce of Hearts, but Mike X figures out a way to win that one. Mike X has really picked his spots tonight. Not having a good night per se, but he has uh, certainly earned a few here and there.
Jonathan Witter says, uh, ask JR, it's my turn. If you have to pick one cash game player to coach you, who would it be? Are we talking just no limit hold'em, Jonathan Witter? Jeff said, where's Julie been? I don't know. Contrary to what many of you believe, we do not keep track of all the players. Ryan will reach out and see if they want to play. If they don't want to play, it's not like we have like GPS trackers on them. That would be really awkward, wouldn't it? Whatever you like, twice. Okay. Mars a two to one favorite against Big John's King Queen. You're gonna hit two pair. There you go. There's one pair. There's one. Queen is coming. Almost. Didn't you say once? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't worry, he's going to hit again. Wow, look at this. Is Big John going to scoop this one? He was a two to one dog. And it looks like he might just scoop this. He does. Look at that. Big John with the full double. Can I go? 21. Oh. Can you break that stack now for me? Spin it up, dude. Uh, 21. 21. Goodness. A lot of good no limit hold'em cash game players out there. If I had to pick one to coach me, <laughs> I might go with Kevin Rabichow. K Rab is just phenomenal. Now I can. Now I can. Now I got enough for Possibly Jason Kuhn. Big blind. <laughs> I mean, keep in mind, when you're, when you're asking somebody to coach you, it's you obviously want somebody who knows what they're doing. You need somebody who's good at coaching, but you also want somebody that kind of meshes with your personality. Somebody you can work with for hours. I think I had queen seven. I could be there. I think I had queen five. Big John's still in it. Miss Vicky May says, your best friend Bart is the best. Yeah, Bart Hansen is brilliant. He's a great coach, no doubt about it. Bart and I have uh, spent countless hours talking poker. And uh, Bart obviously owns and is the lead pro for CrushLivePoker.com and does a great job with that. I checked that. Oh, sorry. Where's the Oh, okay, okay. What a flop here. Julie with Kings once again. And again, she's gonna face some resistance. Mars with a set, Mike X with the nut flush draw. They both just call 12-5 in there. Turns a heart, Mike X has just made the nut flush. Julie has the king of hearts in her hand. She can't win this pot. Mars can win it if the board pairs. Mike X double checks his cards. Yep, still the nuts. I mean, in theory, three, four of hearts would actually be the nuts, but let's not get nitpicky. Mars bets 4,000. 
I'm on the record. I'm going to be on the record of saying I hate the ad minute and then raise. What do you guys think? He adds the minute and just calls. And I think Julie's probably going to stick it in there as well, drawing dead. I mean, I don't know how she folds this. She's got the king of hearts. She might think she's, even if she's behind, she thinks she's probably drawing to a heart. And sure enough, she puts the 4,000 in there. Almost 25,000 in the pot. Mars looking for the board to pair. It does. It's the deuce. Both of them check. Mars has got it. Now, Mike X decided not to check raise the turn. Does he raise here? I mean, I get Julie check raising. I'm sorry, I get Julie just calling. Just a call from Mike X, and I think this is a pretty easy fold for Julie at this point. Mike X lost the absolute minimum. It's amazing. I can't believe Mike X did not raise that. He didn't raise the turn or the river. Another 50K pot. Julie deciding if she wants to overcall. Mm. Sorry, I'm just saying. I'm definitely going to call him. I'm a little worried that you called him. I'm going to fold. Nice lay down from Julie. I have a bolt. Full house. Mike X, just his instincts told him he might have been beat there. That's a great just call on the river. I mean, how many players are going broke on that one? Great pot there from Mars, who's now up over $100,000. Nice hand. Big pot. Big pot. Somebody have flood. Somebody have pot? Flood. Or flash. Yeah, sure. Okay. I didn't know if I wanted a heart. Look like you say all in. Well, for one moment. I, I thought it was third best. I'm pretty sure it's third best. Six. Six. Such an interesting hand that was. Monday. Enjoy your Saturday and Sunday and come back for Max Payne Monday. DGAF, Margot, Sashimi, Beans, and DQ. 
all here at 5 p.m. Pacific time. They're playing 10-20. That game always becomes a 10-20-40. Make sure you join us. What's, what's hard to believe is that both of you guys are having my amazing hair. <laughs> Every time I have a They might have flush. You well, have you uh, the set, though, right? Yeah, you fair. You have flush? What a hand that was. That was pretty sick. So JR agrees with me pretty much. JR said that uh, he'd love to kind of get coached by Garrett, be in that level, but he thinks Bart would be a good coach. And I think that's part. Bart just, he is a coach. He's a poker coach. He's been doing it for so long, and he's really, really good at it. But... Bart's also like one of my best friends, so I didn't want to sound like a homer. But I'll stick with Kevin Rabichow and Jason Kuhn. Bart's right in that category, though. He's in that mix. Catherine Lynn shouts out Phil Galfond. Oh, Phil Galfond's brilliant. But they did rec they did say that this is specifically no limit hold'em. Yeah, but I'm only raising one. And I'm not gonna go to Phil Galfond for no limit hold'em. I'll go to him for PLO though, for sure. Mars up eighty-five thousand seven hundred dollars. Andy up fifty-six K. Stanley up twenty-six K. Julie, despite that hand, still up three thousand dollars. Nines in the lead. Three large. Yeah, no doubt, everybody in the chat. Garrett's a brilliant player. I just don't know if Garrett actually coaches. Remember, the best players in a sport or a game don't necessarily always make the best coach. I mean, Wayne Gretzky's the best hockey player of all time. The general consensus is that he was a terrible coach. Thank you, huh? 
Mundo. If Stanley thought a seven was good before, probably still thinks it's good. Can Lingland fire though? If she does, this is going to be a tough spot for Stanley. All in. Wow. All in, right? She goes all in. I mean, you'd think she'd do this with spades or diamonds or some sort of just ace high. Does get Stanley to fold. Lingland's got hard, I'll tell you that much. Mars are a big winner, up in excess of $80,000 today. Mars three bet, so this will be a fun game. What does Lingland have out of the small blinds? What is she four betting with? This is a cutoff open, a button three bet. So this could be a situation where Lingland is just reading the situation. And she knows that Julie doesn't necessarily need a big hand. She knows Mars doesn't need a big hand to three bet. So I don't think Lingland necessarily needs to have a strong hand here. But obviously she certainly could. Forty-seven. Forty-seven. Wow, Julie calls. Oh, yeah. And Lingling did have the hand. She had nines. Not a hand you normally see people four bet with, but I think when the open is from the cutoff and the three bet is from the button, you can. Nice flop for two nines. Julie in the gambling mood, she does call that four bet with just ace three of hearts. Check, check, nine still very much in the lead. Julie drawing dead to an ace or somehow getting Lingland to fold. So Julie did not bet the flop, but now she's gonna bet. What kind of hand would she do that with? What kind of value hand would she do that with? Good night, Jack Hartman. Have a good weekend, buddy. Thanks for joining us. I'd be shocked if Lingling folded here, but I think she's really giving Julie a pretty big hand. The fact that Julie called the four bet. Mm -hmm. 
she actually going to fold? No. Lingland really in the tank on this one. I don't, I mean, this is, I think she really thinks there's a chance that Julie's got something like Jax, right? Look the other way. <laughs> no, it's me. <laughs> And just to recap how we got here, Julie is the original Razor, Mars 3-bet. That was a cutoff open, a button 3-bet. Langland from the small blind decided the 4-bet with 9s. Julie called with ace three of hearts. Mars got out of the way. He went check, check on the flop, and Lingland checked the turn, and Julia's bet 5K, and Lingland has been tanking for about two and a half minutes now. I mean, if Julie reads this as authentic weakness, does she move all in on the river? to put max pressure on her. Julie's asking for a count, but I think this is just Hollywood. Uh, I, I, I can't imagine a scenario where she's ever yeah. calling this, unless the cards are wrong. Yeah, that. Well, acting. Well, all right, it's five right here. Meaning, not your turn. No, you can do it. So, this is eight. Ten. Eleven after the five comes in? No. Eleven thousand. Oh. Where's the five? Where's the thing for the five? 375. I, I put in the five right here. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. So eight, nine, ten, eleven thousand three seventy five. Well, Julie didn't snap call, so Lingland's gotta be pretty happy with this. How many time trips do I have? Hold on a second. Oh my god. This should give you two. Eleven thousand three seventy five. 11,375. 10 seconds. Just. Right. That's like one for now. Okay, thank you. I mean, part of me thinks maybe Julia's hand is wrong. And it's not ace three of hearts. I mean, it's 11,375 to call. There's 32,000 in there, but you've got ace three in a four bet pot. I can't figure out what that whole performance was about. That, that draw. Ah. Just take my trip. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you.
I don't know. I feel like she's literally chasing some shit. Uh, I mean, I guess Ling Ling could Ling have, like, me. King, Queen of Diamonds. That was the performance of the century. Jack, Ten of Diamonds. Some sort of weird hand like that. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck she's doing here. Fold. You got two over, right? She had one over. It should be. Right? 100%. No, that's the best thing. That's why I don't know what to do. I, feel, I don't think you had the tens or anything. Yeah. Running so bad, if I call, probably ace on the river. For sure. Thank you. I put you on like ace queen suited, ace king, something. Very weird hand. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I didn't think you were that strong the way you tanked like that. I just thought you were like. Well, my hand wasn't that strong. I you, mean, you code a call for I thought you were on a pure draw. Yeah, I could, because that's all. But I was trying to figure out what you had. If you were not bluffing, I, I was beat for sure. Hustle Casino Live brought to you by High Stakes Poker Productions, WPT Global, our sponsor. We thank them, of course. Available to play real money in 50 countries. Plus, they have a $1,200 matching bonus. Pretty good bonus. David Tuckman calling the action tonight. Big John raises to 500. Mike has three bet to 2,000. And is this the hand Big John goes with? It is. Stick it in. Go, go, go. I think Big John. Big John's got him, right? What do he got? Ace, ace. Yeah, Big John was so confident with that one. You can almost see it. He was like, yeah, I've been waiting for this one. What a run here for Big John. So he doubles up with King Jack versus ace eight by running it twice. And now he's in shape to double up again. Come on, does everybody else? Do you have pocket tens? Do you have tens? No. Um, I, I fold two tens up there one time. There's the ace. And uh, unless Mike X can catch running cards, this hand is over. And it is over. 42.25. 42.25. Good on, buddy. I'm going to race 500 and, and only one call. Usually at least there's four calls. <laughs> well, I didn't want to raise too much. Listen. Right. John, you. when you raised 500, I was wondering. I said, you always go on in. Now you raised 500. Well, I wanted to get a few more in there. Yeah. And take my chances of getting another couple of it. But I was thinking maybe it had aces. <laughs> all of a sudden you raised. That's for you with the 2K raise. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that's pretty much it. That's true. Thank you, Mark. Well, actually, no, you kind of helped, because then you will get, like, five callers. Oh, wait, no, you flop top set. So, yeah, yeah. you messed it up. <laughs> that was a bad time to raise it. That was a good time to call, call, call. 300. You know, I wanted to go heads up. If, you know, if you have a better oh. hand, I want to double you up. I want a reaction. If not, well, that's then good. that's it. Yeah. 
Because last time I remember, they didn't call, I mean, they it all is, messed up. Three to five hundred. You couldn't even bluff because you had yeah. only 2,000 left behind. Jack High flop, three hearts. Neither player with a heart in their hand. And we will not see a turn card. You can do it again, John. 2,000 to 70,000. <laughs> when you're halfway there, I'm going to have to if you do it one time, you can do it. And a 5100 game? 100 game? No, it was a 5 5 game? Yeah. Well, that game's kind of You said you won a four-way all-in or three all-in? Yeah. Four-way? Four-way. That's the second time that you won a four-way. Remember the big one that we played with the Queens? Yeah. That is a sweet sweatshirt. Hustler Casino Live. little merch, you can get that. Click on the chat. On the link on top of the chat there. You can get a never fold shirt. That hand was so weird too. That, that? The way that hand played out was oh, so yeah. weird too. <laughs> it's so, like <laughs> real, yeah. Because I, I remember even Patrick came in and straddled, he came right in and straddled. Yeah. Just the whole thing was just I mean, just weird. Like three people right just there. called and then all of a sudden everybody was all in. Yeah. <laughs> it's like for like forty thousand each too. Yeah, Chris, man, up. Three Chris, Chris looked like he had the best on the clock. He had really good. Yeah. Mike X with a three bet. I don't mind the play at all. Maybe a little bit tilty right now, Mike X. He's had a tough night. Not much has gone his way. And then he doubles up a sniper. Always kind of hurts a little bit. That one stings. Francisco does call. Oh, how's that? Top two. Top and bottom pair for Mike X. He was just reaching out there. There's a fly out there. He was hitting. Another actor. Yeah. Did you get that mat you were trying to hit? It's a good audition. Right? Three thousand. <laughs> Kassane Graham says, hey, Tuck, what's the promo for WPT Online? Well, tonight's show, as I mentioned, is sponsored by WPT Global. If you sign up today at WPTGlobal.com, use the bonus code YT81. Yeah, they've got a very generous sign-up matching bonus. I knew it was going in. I was just like, let me just save you time. You should give up the wasting that. They give a thing and they know they can't call. I didn't think you were going to waste three of them and then fold, you know? Well, I still have to figure it out. I just tried to make it too expensive for her to just chase a draw. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you put me in top spot. You just shot along your toes. 2000. Not tough enough, apparently. That's why I had to think. It's like, okay, it's all Too your fault. I see what's going on. Stanley's playing the seven deuce game, whether anybody else is or not. Julie calls. Heads up. Heads up here. 10 9 hearts for seven deuce. Check it on the dark. Oh, hello. Julie checked in the dark. Stanley flops trip deuces. No, I said for you. I just need this so badly. I'm so tired. Thank you, honey. Who was your other card? <laughs> You'll see on the street. You, Three. you had a pair, pocket pair? City Connector. I had one of my, I had Ryan Feldman's favorite hand. Which one's that? I don't know what it's favorite hand. Is that Mace suited? What's his favorite hand? Mm -hmm. I have back to him. What's his favorite hand? Ryan, what's your favorite hand? He's not going to say because he eats all the hand. Right? Uh, oh. The whole world will know. <laughs> just, just ask, just ask, am I right that it's his favorite hand? Oh. Yeah. It's one of his favorite hands that he won a lot of money on. Yeah. Oh, one of his favorite hands. They have multiple? 800. 
Race for Mike X with nines. Francisco defending here with king eight off suit. Ambitious. Julie's in there as well with 10 7 suited. And a set of nines. Second time Mike X has hit a set of nines today. Julie does have a gut shot. Did they run the stream for like 24 hours? Yeah. They just kept going. Yeah, that was like. You only played like eight hours, right? Or five yeah, hours? I, I, played I played hours, and I wasn't even halfway. Yeah. 800. <laughs> You're probably back home when we're still playing. No, I literally woke up the next morning in San Francisco in bed, <laughs> and the stream was still on. <laughs> like, I flew back, took a, <laughs> took a nap. Slept the whole night. That? Played on the game? Yeah, the crazy yeah. one. Yeah, flew back. Woke up the next morning. I looked up on my phone. Oh, and Francisco TV. picking the wrong oh, spot. Bump it up. Francisco will do this. Like, he's pretty tight, like 97.4% of the time, and then every oh, once in a while he just does something pretty crazy. He does have the King of Hearts in his hand. I assume that's part of it. I didn't watch at night, but when I got up in the morning, I got up at like seven. I was like, Mike X makes the call. Pot now 11,200. And it was like live. I was like, Heads up. And Francesco looks like he's kind of giving up. Maybe he continues if a heart came off or if a 10 came off. A 7 even. Seventy four A lot of tanking with nothing tonight. You don't normally see that in the Friday game. About 30 minutes left in tonight's show. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Straddle pot, no raise. Five way action, ace 10 4, two clubs out there. Francisco with a flush draw. Julie with a pair of aces. Stanley, do you like San Fran or LA better? Um, probably. Remember, 100,000 people uh, uh, I mean, I live in San Francisco, so. Yeah, I know you live there, but if you had a choice though, like if you retired or like, would you, would you still stay there or would you? Yeah, I, I yeah. think, I like the. Francisco doesn't have to wait very long. Turns the nut flush. Too hot down, down in here? Yeah. yeah, I know the weather is way before the I also like being near the water. Okay. Check her out. But I don't like Santa Monica. No. You don't like that's, 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 that's on my vibe, yeah. Got you. Check. Do you like, um, like half a bay or something like that? Uh, I, mean, I don't actually, no, I like more like, half a bay is actually very cloudy. Oh, is it? Yeah, so I like being more like, I like being able to see the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Wait, walk, walk to the wall, but I don't need to knock down people. Like, yeah, yeah. Mm. 10 seconds. I don't even have any 
freaking time chips left. Five, four, eight, I fold. I know he didn't have it. You have it? No. No way. He did have it. I've just made all the wrong decisions in the last 20 minutes, so. Check the turn, which means he's either very strong or very weak. It was like January, <laughs> and I was wearing like t-shirts. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> That's Are you staying at Santa Monica? No, I went to drink COVID. Um, I. I, I lived here for a month. You live there? Yeah, in like the Hollywood Hills. Where'd you like? What area? Mm -hmm. A lot of times I punt, so like that's okay. Yeah, like, you know, it's my thing. What area I like the most? Yep. But in LA? Yeah. Um, the Hills? I don't know, probably like really? <laughs> West Hollywood, Korean <laughs> Town for the food. A pair of tens for Ling Lin. She's got the best hand right now. Julie with a pair of tens as well, but she's got kicker issues. King plays. I'm always late here. It takes me like an hour. Yeah. yeah. It's, not a, it's not a fun drive down here. Oh, that's the other thing about LA is I don't like having to drive everywhere. Oh, like everything's like 20, 30 minutes away. Like San Francisco, I can walk for like drive 10 minutes at most. 3,000? I mean, when I was up there, I was like, um, it's like when I spent time in San Francisco, I miss driving and like I get tired of the walking, but then now I'm in LA, like I, I miss walking, you know? Like sometimes it's just nice to just walk to the store, walk to the, you know, walk everywhere. Three bet from Mars, call by Julie. Not much there for Mars, but he is the three better. Can he represent that ace? Honestly, our commute might be the same. How much you have? Oh, you take the you take the jet. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's like an hour, right? Yeah. yeah I just go between here, Vegas, mm -hmm. LA. Oh, you always just take oh. the jet, right? Yeah. Mars couldn't have found a better turn card. He turns a straight flush draw. Yeah, yeah, that's the one where you just like, you show up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, like, all the benefits of going inside So they, I'm only like, 38. Yeah, it's cheap, I can do that. How do you get, how do you have to go back, right? Take it back to, like, yeah, yeah. All in. Wow, and Julia moves all in. We don't know what she has. But it's 9,600 for Mars to call. Getting about two and a half to one. Huh? On the rail? Uh-oh. Problem is, I mean, he could be up against like Jack X of Diamonds. Ace X of Diamonds. Kind of a nightmare spot for him. I, I, I think it's just a fold. Oh, 
That sucks when you have when you pick up so much equity like that, and then your opponent jams on you. They're gonna run it one time. Thirty-two thousand five hundred in the pot. Don't know what Julie has. But we know Mars has seven high. Sure. I have a feeling I'm losing this one. But. Right. They are going to run it twice. Okay. Diamond for Mars. So she de definitely did not have Jack X diamonds. She's going to win the second one. I have an ace. Uh, flash. Chop. Okay. Flash on the top. <laughs> <laughs> what is he? What's the? What are his exact cards? <laughs> that's. I, I have to assume that that's probably where I, he is somewhere like that. <laughs> No, I offered Big John two times before. Oh, you did? Okay. And uh, this time, I, if I do not uh, offer her, it's, it's unfair, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? When he called, I'm like, I gotta be behind, right? Mike's, Mike Gex under the gun plus one, raising the 600. Ling Lin calls. 600. You know, the, the, the two chips were like this. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you haven't been doing that the whole time. I mean, maybe. That is not a bad flop for 9-7 of spades. Raise under the gun with 9-7 of spades and then flop that. How does he do it? Mike X, an expert. He's like a pro. Langling calls. I mean, you're a little bit worried about your opponent having a five, but Mike X has so much equity here. I'm just going to keep betting. <laughs> the brain stopped working. Nice double barrel there from Mike X. Takes it down. And I saw you looking at me. And I was like, why is she looking at me? I just I did a base. I was so confused minute, by your like I wasn't standard gonna, raise. I wasn't really going to call a raise anyway, Three. but. 300. I, I was like, he hasn't done that the whole. It's not like you mix yeah. it up. Like you're pretty yeah. much consistent yeah. with your raises. All right. Three minutes. Raise from Andy. Called in a couple of spots. All right, check around. Checks around, nobody with a pair. Andy now open ended. Check. Check. <laughs> check is good. Check. Check. Who wins? Okay, okay. Big pot, big pot. Mm. For me, every pot are good. Mm. What? Every pot, small, big, oh, I'm okay. Same thing. I'm not greedy like Andy. Me? Greedy? No, no, you're not greedy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I'm very generous. Yeah, you're generous. <laughs> About 20 minutes left in tonight's show. I want to wish you all a wonderful weekend. If you live in Southern California, enjoy a little bit of reprieve from the heat tomorrow. We are back at it on Monday at 5 p.m. It is Max Payne Monday. Degaff, Beans, Margo, Sashimi, they'll all be here. Make sure you are as well. Pair threes for Julie. Stanley with a gut shot. He can win this with a jack, a 10, or an 8, or he can just get Julia to fold. Cool. Julia makes two pair. She's going to check it, give Stanley enough rope to hang himself. See if Stanley two takes pair. the bait. He does not. Take a look at our stats. Mara is up eighty-two thousand eight hundred dollars. Not much is, uh, not much has not gone his way. Mars has been crushing. Andy up fifty-three k. Stanley up eighteen seven. Julie, Mike X, Big John, Lingland, and Francisco all each, all down five figures each. I'm like, where's my other cards? I'm so used to peeling. Five. Andy making it up five hundred dollars with Ace Jack. Big John with King Jack's gonna call. You play for a lot? No, I mean I know the rules, but I don't know like what the hand means. Did you play poker in like college or whatever? Or just you know? it's as a hobby. I mean we play like five dollar buy in in our dorm. Okay. Pair sevens for Mars. He has the best hand right now. Thank you for your cooperation. Thank you, thank you. What? Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> for my corporation. Thanks, you. Thanks, Poker Yogi. I appreciate you. And thanks for spending your Friday night with us. And he's going to bet $500. Mars don't think it's going to go anywhere. Now he makes this call. Pot now 27.50. Seven. I can tell you Close. mine. Close. At some point after she, you took so long to make a decision, I was like, just please shove in like, I just want to get out of this town. <laughs> but then I was confused. I was thinking, if I wasn't going to donate my last money, I'd better donate to Julie than Francisco. <laughs> I was happy to give you chips. I mean, I wasn't happy to lose chips, but it's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
What the friggin' frig? What the friggin' frig? I like it. Get a raise from Andy. Francisco calls. Mike X three bets with King Jack Goff. Mike X has definitely been more aggressive today. The new Mike X is like new and improved Coke. And he hits a king. Andy hits his nine. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You're, you're, you're bad, uh, bad influence, Johnny. Take that shit somewhere else. <laughs> Mike X bets fifteen hundred. Andy makes the call. Pot now seventy five hundred dollars. Thank you, Kelly. Appreciate that. Andy with the check. Mike's going to go for a little bit of value here. I like the sizing, 3,300. He's gonna pay him off. I'm a king. <laughs> nice three bet, nice value bet from Mike X. Mike X still down on the night, but he is uh, he is fighting. He's battling tonight, that's for sure. Just a reminder, if you're bored tomorrow night, I will be on, I will be streaming the World Series of Poker online series, the final table. I think it'll probably start at like midnight Pacific time. So it's gonna be late. It'll be on Twitch. Yeah, because I made a mistake. I'm on Twitter at Tuck on Sports, so I will definitely put the link out there. But it's, uh, if you can't sleep, Maybe you've had a couple of glasses of wine. You want to join Nathan Gamble and I. We'll be commentating on uh, just uh, online poker. No, no, I don't. So keep me company tomorrow night. You were like surprised, and then it took me like ten. Eight high flop, two spades out there. Okay, that now makes sense. Big John's got the ten of spades. Does he want to bet it here? He's got a gut shot. He's got a spade draw. Hey, let's say Andy get there. Right, right, right. Sometimes it makes it easier, you know. Especially on hands that you're kind of 50 50. You want to. Yeah. I've gotten three times close to even, and then I lose a 20k pot too. So I am. I think I'm down 11. John is down something. Mark, John, you're the big for winner. Sure is down. Yeah, I guess my lucky back today. <laughs> so he's down. I already give you your Christmas. Francisco's <laughs> even, I'm guessing. No, I'm down. How much? Who cares? I don't. I just. I said that I don't have any sense of like what. I'm down. Yeah, general rule of thumb: if you're playing with people and you know they're down, don't ask them how much they're down. Nobody wants to tell you. Nobody wants to relive it. These are two big winners. Andy's stack is so difficult to read. You have no idea. It like, could be 40k. It could be 140k. Like it's a castle. I mean, you're just never gonna see Garrett ask somebody if they're down and how much they're down. There's a reason for that. Stuck 40. 
Pair of jacks for Stanley. Lingland drawing dead to an ace. The show has certainly had its ups and downs. A lot of bluffing. <coughs> a lot of tanking. You don't normally see that in a Friday night game. You owe me a double up. Daniel says, uh, can we see the uh, plus minus, the stats? Yes, you can. They'll come up in like 10 minutes. Race from Julie with ace 10. Big John calls. And hits not one but two kings. And then he's going to bet. Why? <laughs> Why not check to her and let her bet? It's in a heads up situation. It's just like. I mean, especially on a dry board like this, I just don't know why. That's why I couldn't I believe you bet. Because yeah. if you had it, I was like, why are you betting? I'm going to do the betting. And if you don't have it, why the fuck are you betting? I, yeah. Yeah, I, I know. Him. It's like, a queen. It's made a by the way, John, now makes sense that you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's made a mistake when he thought he had a flush, and it wasn't a flush. I've done that before. These cards are all bent. Big shout out to JR who's been in the chat most of the evening answering your questions. Really appreciate that. You guys can watch him. My guess is next week sometime, maybe next Friday he'll be on. Don't know his schedule, but I'm sure he'll be back here on Hustle Casino Live, battling. Get a three bet from Mars to ace with ace queen. Julie calls with nines. Hey, again, disrespectful. Disrespect. Baby, you don't bet it. You hit the Broadway draw, and you screwed. No, I meant I had two Broadway cards in my hand. Is what I meant. Mars checks it back. I didn't mean I had a Broadway draw at that point. Julie's going to put a little tinkle out there, 1400. Mars folds. I had one, I'll show you one. I didn't have a can. Yeah. It would be so fun to 10 minutes before. We could just show one card from now on. Money. It's hard to get with money, but not impossible. But not impossible? Yeah, it is impossible to, to focus six hours on stuff. Okay. 
A raise, four players call, and five players will see this ace high flop. Andy with top set. Big John's got a pair of sevens, backdoor diamond draw. Not much going on for everybody, anybody else, which is kind of what you expect when somebody's got a set of aces. John is going to call. He is drawing nearly dead. Said needs running cards. If a jack or a seven come off, it'll just be painful for him. But instead, he picks up a diamond draw. Pot just under five thousand dollars. Grip Poker asking for some overtime tonight. That's never my call, guys. I'm up here in the booth, and the crew always has to decide that. And it really up to the players as well. But our crew puts in a lot of hours. That is not a diamond. It is a red card. And Andy is going to win this pot. I think Table Talk was just muted. Maybe it's just for me. Can you guys hear it? There we go, it's back. Yeah, it's a very tough week for our crew. I mean, you guys hear me and Bart and DGAF and Kyle and Goon, but I can tell you that our crew they work twice as hard. They come in two hours before we're here. They stay till the end. So it is, uh, it's very labor intensive. They put a lot of hours in. And I know they want to kind of like save the overtime for when we really want it. Like that amazing show we had with JRB and Alan Keating where they went 16 hours. There we go. Table Talk is back. Player. Poker player. Langland raises, gets called in two spots. King, queen, five. That's nice. Always nice to flop, to raise uh, king, queen, and flop top two. What was the thing with Francisco? He said he could beat all the women, so we had that game as all women and Francisco. I still believe it. You do still believe it? Yeah. Lingland now with a full house, 5,200 in the pod, and these two battling once again. We know we know Lingland's going to win the pot. More importantly, how many time chips are we going to go through? Ten thousand four hundred in there. Yeah, we love the ladies, and ladies love the money. That's the way it is. With the fake, and then the reach. And the pot size bet. How much? Ten thousand. Oh my god, I have no time chips. And 
And there's the call. Okay. There's the call. Julie used all her time chips on that ace I guess three I'm hand. The question is a better player. <laughs> I got lucky. <laughs> Was the whole hand? Good hand. No, it was 10,000. Tough spot there for Julie. A horse trader, I know you were joking, says this is easy to produce. Let's just turn on the electricity. Good to go. Table doesn't move. Funny thing is, I know a lot of live streams that are actually do that. That's, that's what they do. But that's not what we do here. That's sick. We've got a crew, a full team up here working hard. Finally, we get the gun. Uh oh. 1,000. We're in trouble. I couldn't figure out if that was like the best raise or the dumbest raise because why are you doing that for so much? Like, I have a good enough hand to call. Yeah. I don't know. It's either great or it's I not. mean, it's like 50 50. Either I had it or not. So sometimes I do. Sometimes. It just looks sloppy. But I'm wrong. Get some change, uh. please. Uh. Mm -hmm. Can you find that button? That's pretty much. Sure. Our Friday night game winding down. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really do appreciate you spending your Friday evening with me here, with me here at Hustler Casino Live. Once again, thank JR for joining us in the chat. We are back at it on Monday. Max Payne Monday. DGAF. Kyle Raver. Kyle Poker will be commentating. Margo in the game. Make sure you join us 5 p.m. Pacific time. Lingland, our most active player. Not surprising. But our big winner tonight is Mars. It's his world. We just live in it. From everybody here at Hustler Casino, thank you so much for watching it. Have a great weekend. Goodbye and good night.